Um, how are y'all? How are y'all doing? Uh, we are here gonna go Wednesday night. Um, yeah. Let's, uh, thank you all for being here, uh, and hanging out. Let's meet some of our players and get into it, I suppose. Unless we have any other, like, statements. Two things. One, yeah. I have a face this week. That's weird. You do. And two, Tony lies. I care about your mental health a lot. I disagree. I just hope that your mental health is lower than normal. And three, he has a new hole in his body. Wow. <laughs> he does. He does. <laughs> this is he, canon. He got a piercing for his birthday last mm-hmm. week. Yeah. Yes. And y'all just spam the chat. Happy belated birthday to, to yeah. you know, Rev, because we just, we, we want that. Um... Do Sweet. it, do it, do it. I need it. I need to be the center of attention. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's give him the 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 spamming of the emojis if you've got them. And let's Do's start with fans. um <laughs> <laughs> Let's start with well, that's darkness. What I to the other piercings. <laughs> Introduce yeah. yourself. I play Ramita Thornstep, who was drunk off her booty the entire last two episodes. Um <laughs> I forget what we say in the intro. Just a name and what you're up to. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's my name. I'll do and intro. <laughs> I'll do intro. Over. It's like we took a day um, off last week when we didn't. <laughs> my mental, I'm just kaput right now, so. It's the yeah. end of the day. We, um, we, yep. If it um, helps, you're short. <laughs> I'm going to take everything you love and put it where you can't see it. <laughs> Object take, permanence. Just take his glasses. What do you mean? Oh, his contacts won't work. <laughs> and I have a set of hidden glasses. Uh, they can I go next? If you don't have glasses yeah, and go. try to find them. Hi, my name is. <laughs> my name is Just Brett. I play um, Boston Jones, the Paladin fighter. Um, and apparently, and I have a date this this upcoming morning, so that'll be interesting for sure. Um, oh god, are we splitting up again? I mean, we all can just the party. We don't have to. The date. Yeah, we're yeah. just yeah. on the date. I mean, These we're going my to my office. Chaperones. <laughs> <laughs> These are my four chaperones. I've got to. I've got to go to talk to an auction lady. Oh, well, just, it, the auction is the start at ten, like six a.m. So or whatever. Why are you going on a date at six a.m.? We didn't specify a time. He's probably gonna do that. <laughs> Um, but uh, I'm gonna pass it over to Blood. Oh, good. Uh, I made a mistake by commenting. <laughs> you did. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Bloodless King, and I pay, play Fenrana at Sith. Um, they're panicking. They have things to do today, uh, and also they are terrified of having to show their face to their friends, who they threw up around because shots are terrifying, and alco- also alcohol is evil. It's fine. <laughs> um, let's go with the one who got me to take shots. Hey, Nash, uh, Tony, hey. you do your thing. Let's do the party. Uh, hi, I'm Tony. I'm playing Nashville Finnegan Thompson, uh, or whatever his actual name is. I don't know. Um, <laughs> and and uh, um, somebody. <laughs> you know what? Uh, the the list for today includes get everyone a tattoo. So um, that is that's a right. Thing. Tattoos. Yeah, that we're, is so for sure date a thing. tattoos. I think is the plan. So uh, I think one of us Laser gets a date. The rest get tattoos, and we know who the winners are. <laughs> also, that Damn. is uh, uh, that is one already. Uh, can we put a tally in the uh, DM like face bombs already? Well, there's also the OnlyFans reference already. There is the uh-huh. only- I'm We're working on it. We're starting out strong. I don't um, know if that was strong, an official man. face palm because I was looking at chat at it that was, point. I was, was not. I tuned out. Down. Um, <laughs> and I don't know <laughs> that that's a technical face palm, but it is the right energy. That is an option, Rev. That is that is a thing that you've now put into chat. A whole lot of hentai. 
Oh, no. Wow. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, Nash, who, Tony, who would you like to toss that coin to? I guess the only person left would be Rev, huh? Is it, is it my turn to speak some more? <laughs> do we that let him? Do we, we let him, to. folks? We have okay. to, unfortunately. You don't have to let me. I'll we speak don't anyway. have to do anything. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Gears, what's your today? Tony, have the audio controls underneath his, his fingies. So, like. Yeah, but you'd have to <laughs> mute all of us at the same time. Have. Not really. Not true. You can just mute one person. You can mute one person in Discord. In Discord, but that's so much extra work. <laughs> Look, we're me. just trying to be encouraging uh, here. Stream just didn't see a Discord menu come up with the uh, mute button on it. I don't know what you're talking about. Look, I'm petty as hell. All right, don't don't hell. call my bluff. Uh, and blood. Yeah, congratulations. we're off to a you're, wonderful you're getting start. an upgrade. Um, I'm getting an upgrade. If you look at the thing now, it's times blood slash rev mentions our OnlyFans, it's not just rev, because you wanted to feel special and be a part of the listing thing for some reason. Uh, oh, is that a also, thing? Also, that blood is- does well, participate in that one. Blood does. Blood does a lot. I, I noticed, I, from what I noticed, blood covers when rev isn't here, so it's like the one, the, they both speak the one word. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, welcome to Wednesday Night D&D. Uh, we're going to check in. Uh, let's do a recap of what happened thus far. So our crazy crew uh, showed up to Ithros with the expectations of traveling through. They so far are on time for that because they only had 48 hours to uh, potentially stay. And they've not even finished their 24 hours and they got all of their shit taken care of. Ramita is no longer in trouble if she stays beyond her time. Neither is uh, Nash, supposedly. He has met with his uh, parole officer, so he's gotten that taken care of. And uh, at the end of meeting with little Professor uh, Thester uh, Hillmaker, um, the crew met back up at the fair that uh, had their final, last and final um, voting contest in the brackets when, you know, the fewest members are, are, you know, competing against each other. They got their top five winners, the final round. Thank you. Um, And they got their winners and Boston decided to go and congratulate all the winners, which of only two of them were um, fairly welcoming to his, um, you know, Congratulations. That was uh, talkative Tilly, and which she did talk Boston's ear off as long as he let her. <laughs> and then he moved on to meet with Amelia, of which he tried to introduce himself formally and ended up with a date, of which um, he had planned on, I guess. Uh, taking her on an official date, but then later on was like, hey, you want to get out of here? So it took on a preemptive date, pre-date date, um, and found out some very interesting things that uh, the store that she frequents, because she can afford it, um, with for all the parts of her inventions, are um, is owned by the uh, father of... Several um, NPCs, I guess, at this point, um, who were uh, destroyed in a bombing in Vorak, and announced to Boston as he tried to recommend a nice, soothing place for uh, a retirement vacation place, um, which happened to end up being a no-no. <laughs> um, after said date, they reft rather ra- went Are you off good? to uh, yeah yeah pff, trying. <laughs> they went off to um, rejoin the group, of which uh, I believe Nash, Ramita, and Fenrana had rejoined at Boston's apartment to have a good old heart to heart. Heart to heart. Found out, uh, you know, Nash and Ramita have a mutual love for drow women and a few other interesting things you will have to watch that episode for. And then after the end of the evening, 
after a good old spilled shot, you know, alcohol abuse, um, everyone except Fenrana decided to go and join Boston at his good old local drink spot. Uh, bar with the, the one, uh, robot. Exactly, the cowboy bar of where they find out who is all wanted in the area and how much they're worth, of which the the biggest payload just walks right into their little tavern barish <laughs> in Boston uh, in order to, you know, keep the worried bartender uh, silent or stop from stop worrying. Gives her a good old plan on the kiss in the face. Kiss her in the face. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I don't. What are words? What are descriptions? I don't. Yeah. Well, if I if I kiss, nope, 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 (laughs) nope, nope. (laughs) I'm gonna just. Um, I'm just gonna. I love how you got two two words into that and was like, no, this is going nowhere. I need. (laughs) Makes me feel better because all of my word stumbling is is not as bad as that. Um. Uh, yeah, so we're kind of at the end of that, um, having found out, um, you know, Re- uh, Bal- Baldrick is still still wanted, and they tried to raid the Lost and Found to give Baldrick a brand new look, an old look, a used look. Um, mm-hmm. Nash which... pulled it off. <laughs> yeah, Absolutely like it stunning. was. It's it's as every bad as you think it might be, folks, because it is the lost and found, and it Magic. is something that everyone has lost and not recovered uh, over the weeks, months, years of that location being open. In a horse house. <laughs> In a horse house. So it could be former workers, it could be former clients, stuff that gets missed. You never know. It's anything and everything. Um, we did miss an opportunity by not including sequins. I'm sure maybe there's something there. You know, it's it's all of it. it we did we did all of it. <laughs> um. So yeah, night gets the the clothes. The heart to hearts are still, uh, you know, happening. And Fen is still all by themselves in Boston's apartment, dying mortally wounded from embarrassment of not being able to handle alcohol um <laughs> and messing not even up being like able to get down one shot <laughs> <laughs> um i think if we, um what? yes we did make it back boston and nash had a hard to- conversation about identities and things like that and even boston offered condolences for uh, Fen by saying, "Hey, everyone was had had a their, every first shot was awful. Like, don't feel too bad about it." I was gonna say, I think we concluded that they ended up back at the mm-hmm. the location. Mm-hmm. Um, if we want to finish the heart to hearts, we can. But I want to say that the uh, return uh, time was probably one thirty two a.m. And you guys can decide what your characters do after that. So let's and check in. <laughs> Oh, yeah, uh, Fen, mm. was your calm off this whole time? Yeah, I never okay. turned it back on, so. That's what I figured. I had thought that it was off, um, and when I mean off, like, no signals either way, either direction. So none of the conversation that happened at the cowboy shop was, would have been... I don't know anything cowboy. about it, yeah, no. Okay, just checking. Check, 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 checking. All right. Um... So yeah, everyone is back in the the apartment, and unless there's anything else, we can fast forward to the next morning. Just gonna say, huh? I'm gonna text. It's in a quick text to uh, yeah. Amelia Livingston, and just say, when did you want to get coffee tomorrow? <laughs> You're sending this at That's two a.m. Yep. <laughs> Booty call. <laughs> He's an academic. Let's face it, that bitch don't sleep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do also want to say Rick's going to spend like an hour or two through the night using minor illusion in a mirror to just like try on different faces. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Long rest for this cowboy, though. Nash will snore through it. 
Snore. Okay. You don't think Nash snores? Oh, Nash snores. I heard uh, there was a T at the end of that, but okay. Yeah, nope. but Nash's snoring is <laughs> muffled by his tail, right? <clears throat> Not at this moment. His tail something. I mean, he does. So oh. I will say in canon, he does rage before bed every night um, and then suck on the end of his tail like a pacifier. That's adorable. <laughs> yeah, because I remember though, for like session one, you had done that because you were basically having a panic attack slash crying. He was <laughs> stressed. He was very stressed, boy. No, but I don't know if he's that stressed but I just anymore. Remember, I... that's the one time you brought it up. <laughs> I feel no. like it's canon for those nights, but as adorable as it is on normal nights, that is not true. Um, but there are some nights that uh, that an extra uh, a, te- a tail is a comfort. Mm. Uh, Ramita, mm. where do you pass Ramita's out? Passed out. Where? Um, Wherever first she lands. Chair, Ramita can. Yeah, I believe we put her back in the same drawer she was sleeping in. The I night was gonna say, does somebody like off. does she does she pass out on her on standing up and someone put her away or something? It's just yes. like the carpet. Actually, so I walk in and just like <laughs> is right Ramita drunk carpet. enough that she made a mess at all? She threw up in the toilet earlier and didn't drink at the bar. She did that throw up true. in the toilet because there's a chance that Rick may have just put Ramita in the dishwasher. <laughs> <laughs> Please tell me I you feel like it's a felony, but at the same time, continue. <laughs> oh my god. Poor Ramita. Important question <laughs> Does he turn it on? <laughs> of course. What? Is she still. <laughs> okay, so I guess I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> you know they don't um... fill up with water, right? It's just a shower. Yeah, it's just a really warm. No, no, no. Yeah, bad it's... for the leather shower. <laughs> it's extremely roll, hot. Roll a roll con really save. Hot. Roll a con save no, because there's no, yeah, uh, skin if, burning. If, there's if, uh, if drowning. Turn the washer. Boss would immediately sound like. Wait, what the fuck you doing? As he pulls it on takes from his <laughs> slightly soggy body. <laughs> it just seemed like the fastest way. No, no. <laughs> Um, Baldrick! <laughs> Listen, okay, when, to... when the machine says can wash literally any stains off, that does not mean people. He's gonna shake Ruby to see if she's alive. Okay, I'm gonna have to yeah. pause. I have to I've pause this. myself before. Pause this. Rob Baldrick, you took care of children. You were a butler and a maid and a. A tutor. I will say this right now. Fancy houses would not use the the like C grade dishwasher that Boston has in his apartment. Also, I, Boston would never have had to have dealt with drunk, actual like barbarian people. And I will True. say this now: you did not define which take care of. <laughs> <laughs> Master Baldrick, there's too many of them. What are we gonna do? <laughs> No, 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 no. Okay. Mr. We are on twi- extermination duty. <laughs> the derailed, derailed train has gone too far. Baldrick was a nanny and 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 catered to children. And Granny is a halfling that is is basically child size. Um, <laughs> putting him in a dishwasher, I think, would definitely constitute abuse. And I don't. I feel it would not be in his programming. But he wouldn't abuse anybody. But I. I could make a legitimate argument in real life that for a person tough enough, being put in a dishwasher and run for a cycle would be completely harmless. It would be and annoying. If I can make that argument, then Rick certainly can. Okay, so the, <laughs> that's all right. Then. Yeah, so I, I, I grab Ramita. I like, Ramita, I'm going to gently wake them up, just tap them on the face. <laughs> There are different settings, so I think there could sure. be a cold wash. We'll just yeah, throw that. Cold wash. I'm not. We're not washing a person in my dishwasher. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, uh, Boston picks uh, pulls Ramita out just as it starts to, you know, fill up. You know, the whole thing. The sink. I'm just gonna just put her in the sink. <laughs> She's a half, like, not a gnome. <laughs> well, he's not working with a food processor. So he's just gonna sit her there, so that way she can kind of like lead, like in like a tub. <laughs> So Ramita is in the sink with like half her body outside on the counter and half her body in the sink. 
<laughs> because halflings do not fit in the sink unless it's like one of those bigger, more expensive hubs. The farmhouse sinks. Yes, those. those ones. Uh, so, you know, oh, oh, how about this? We just put her, I don't know, somewhere else, but we don't, uh, new, new rule. No one put anyone in a dishwasher. <laughs> Unless Just you get like the fastest way to let her sleep and get her clean. No, oh, no. Listen, but I, I appreciate the like the the gumption to try to you know get ahead of the things. But we'll yeah, ask her first next time, and when she's a little bit more conscious, <laughs> she's gonna grab her a couple towels <laughs> and like make her like some pillows and like put her towel on her as a blanket. Just a little. <laughs> uh, yeah. So that way, if she throws up, it's in the kitchen or at least in the sink. <laughs> oh God. Yeah. All right. So at this point, I think we can safely say everyone gets a full rest. Uh, Boston, you get a reply. Um, uh, not immediately, but during this little excursion that we have. Um, whenever you want, it's your choice. And that's the text. Uh, great. See you at 930. And you get a little, like, smiley emoji back. I um, forgot about one that gives us 930 is basically the full long rest thing was the logic. Yeah, sure. No, whatever. Yeah, um, that's totally fine. Uh, yeah, everyone gets a long rest at, after this. Um, and... Brett... Or Boston, you get a message um, that's red and blinking. What? And he's gonna looking at it. Is there any identifier, or is it like a known spam call? Like, am I about to get hacked? Like, what's going on? Oh, it's it's definitely from uh, Amelia, and it looks like it's emergent, urgent. Uh, he'll pick it up and it, yeah. Is it a phone call or a text message? It is a uh, phone call, and the time is actually 8.40 in the morning. You still get a long rest, but it's 8.40 yeah. when uh, you get this. He'll hop up, start putting on his clothes, and say, what's wrong? Uh, I need you to come over to Tilly's. Um... <laughs> and you hear cussing. <laughs> Um, it's over on the, and they send you a, a GPS location. It's over on the corner with the church. It's, please hurry. And you hear this loud bang. And then it's silent. Um, he is going to do, um, a rodeo whistle, basically, and just get everyone up. <laughs> I'm not going to do one because one. I'm on a camp. I'm on a mic and we're all alive. But just, it'll all peak. <laughs> it all peaks. Just he whistles and gets Everyone up, probably in the, above him and below him as well. All right, what do you guys do? That was bracing. Everyone I'm gonna up. fall off the sink, like <laughs> jump and just like fall off the counter. <laughs> Nash comes up swinging. <laughs> we gotta go. Oh, go my what? Ah. Like grabbing all of their stuff. You know that uh, Amelia Livingston, chick you were talking to yesterday. Yes. Well, got a Mency call out of nowhere. Apparently, uh, a church that she's at there seems to be some sort of trouble. And if it's a trap, pack heavy. And he's uh, putting on uh, his armor as he's zooming. I'm always ready. I am there. Grabbing my hammer and cane. <laughs> Finn is equipping their gun on one side and their uh, uh, saber on the other. Rick is halfway to the car. Nash, Nash reaches down to his... Um, Bible holster on his garter belt. Um, mm. <laughs> sorry. sorry. <laughs> Bible holster. I'm sorry. There's, Listen, what, it, it's an actual book, but it's it's not an actual Bible, but it's the the, the Flander Bible. I don't remember what we called it right now. Um, well, like Flanders, yeah, Flanders scripture, yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, he's got the look. The man doesn't have pockets. He's got garter bandoliers. We've covered this. Pants. <laughs> Wear pants. 
No. That restricts his movement. <laughs> no. <laughs> you know what? I tried. I and tried. Friends. Me, so no. no. Not for me. <laughs> Lose the aesthetic of garter belts, um, short shorts, and a cowboy hat? Absolutely <laughs> not. Uh, if your name was uh, Misty, we'd have ourselves a 90s sitcom. <laughs> I keep, oh, I keep forgetting. Does he have fishnet stockings on or no? Underneath uh, that, those short shorts. Stockings. Stockings. He does have um, a, a mesh shirt. Okay, it's the shirt. Mesh shirt. That was what it was. <clears throat> right. Mesh, mesh with the my yeah. imagination. Yep. All right. Um, <laughs> Onward. But yeah, he does do to a quick car. prayer to Lathander uh, for today. Uh, just, you know, as they're moving. Right. Um... <clears throat> Is this the one I want? Oh shit! Are there going to be new okay. visuals now? Visuals? They're going to be visuals, visuals soon. I'm so yeah, ready for attention this. to the side. <laughs> a visual aid. That way. Um, that way. Here we I, go. Gears will that let way. me know when to reveal it. Um, Absolutely. That way. I'm seeing nothing but so. darkness. <laughs> Well, stop but, staring at darkness. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. You just, just gotta click out of the screen. She's so pretty. Um, <laughs> all right, so y'all get yeah, into... Where, where do you go? Um, by the GPS, it is a good maybe 10-minute drive. Um, if you decide to follow the limits, that is. Bulger, I, punch it. I, I was gonna punch say, it. I don't think we would be. <laughs> As we're going, I'm gonna be like, hey... Anyone have a painkiller? Uh, he, he'll grab some, he'll, and actually, no, he would not have had the time for this. Uh, he'll open up, he'll hand her a cigarette. <laughs> what are the chances that the Rickmobile would have one? Like, would have Probably, painkillers in hand? Yeah, first aid at least. Um, you know, like, hit a button on the console, like on the dash, and just like in the back where like a wine thing would pop up. It's just okay. like, a full stock first full. aid station. <laughs> I yeah, mean, you're basic fair, with our lifestyle. <laughs> that well, is I don't know. well thought out thing. <laughs> you are a life saver. A basic first aid kit that's got, you know, band-aids and a defibrillator and uh <laughs> you do actually come with uh basic uh painkillers. Yeah. Yeah, and it would yeah. come with uh, painkillers both yeah. bug bite uh, stuff. A, yep, yep, both, both Hello, on the, the yeah, sprays, yeah. absolutely, all the things. Burn um, things that you should never use. Granny's gonna take a sip out of her <laughs> flask as you taking it. Uh, okay, I'm ready now. Okay. Um, Baldrick, you're driving? Oh, yeah. I need you to roll, do me a stealth check to see if you catch any local, um, attention. Guidance. <laughs> uh... Yeah, I'll take the guidance. What does it do? Uh, extra D4 to your roll. On your roll, okay. yeah. Uh, one more, s'il vous plaît. No. Uh, so that is a total of 15. Okay. Um, you are able to, you might gather some attention, but not enough to do any kind of pursuit. Um, as it is quite early in the morning, and there are very few uh, vehicles in the room. Um, booking it, you make it there in less than seven minutes. And you guys arrive at basically on the outside looks like this uh, cathedral. Um, however, it is a little on the rough side. Um, it does, uh, Nash, you would recognize the structure of it and and the outside the soot gathered and the grime everything is sort of in the same district that you went to uh, meet your parole officer okay. and uh, the cathedral parts like there are some what looks like stained glass kind of broken there are some uh rock structures it is very stro stone um classic built but the, the lot of it's seen better days looks to be in disuse um but the front entrance the doors are very modern um steel doors with the the security lock you think that the outside structure is just looks and maybe the inside is looking a little different and you can hear um uh, some noise going on inside a lot of crashing a lot of thrashing 
Um, I, this entire time he's been trying to call her back to see if she responds. <laughs> no, no response. No response. Okay. Um, instead of parking, Rick is going to put the car in the front door. <laughs> okay. I'm so proud of oh, you, no. but also. <laughs> I made it slightly bully resistant. I didn't make it impenetrable. I don't know how to do that. Um, all right. Like, oh, shit, how do no. I, what is the vehicle AC? Actually, I, I don't think we have one. For for like flavor of it, and because of the way a limousine is split, he would do that by like doing a J turn. So it's the back end that goes through. Cool. So it's the rest of us that hit it first. Cool. Got it. Okay. Guy's so going to try to jump out the back window. are going to be inside the building. You guys can get in faster. <clears throat> um, I will say that um, Stone uh, in, in Dungeons and Dragons 5e, Stone has a DC of 15 um, and then Iron or Steel has a DC of 18 when you're trying to either break it or cut through it. Right. So, but how this it is, this is, we, we steel on steel, though. Bit. Right. We added a little bit more with the bulletproofing, technically, but... Well, yeah, but you that's... You added newspapers. It's not a, no, I know. Bulletproof. <laughs> I know, it's not I know, worth hitting. I know. I'm helping, goddammit. <laughs> <laughs> You're making me nervous. Uh, uh, You're making me nervous. Let's be honest, um, Dave. Austin said we have to get there. There's an emergency. Right. And we hear um, a fight. This, but here's the thing. This conversation let's, let's, is all about aim, right? If he hits yeah, with the no, corner no. of the, the car, it's going to be more reinforced. Sorry. Also, aren't <laughs> ahead, doors yours. wood? This can I, can I say something? Said. Yes. Can I say something? Yes. Hey, I hey, know. Rev. Roll me a dex to see if you can get the car to go in the direction at the speed that you need. Add that to um, a basic, what, strength? No, not strength. Um, wouldn't this be vehicle handling? Yes. <laughs> or, or animal handling. Basic animal handling. Well, well no, so, there's actual, there's vehicle proficiency and all that stuff. I don't yeah, know whether it's under that intelligence, your, I believe. Is that on your on your character sheet? Vehicle handling? Uh, if you have proficiency, then it would be. Okay, uh, if you have that. Work. It's like and a we'll see. <laughs> and if, if, yeah, if you get a DC of 18 or higher. Oh, I need to roll a 15 to do it. Inspiration. I believe you have advantage. You can burn I if you need 17 it. 17 on the die, so that's a, a dirty 20. Nice. Okay, so you are able to accomplish the thing that you wanted. You are able to... Uh, so driving up to this cathedral, you see it, Boston points it out, this is it, and you decide to not only swerve and hit the e-brake to the point where it swerves the back um, into the door, crashes, but also causes uh, everyone to be able to be inside the cathedral um, mm. as the door kind of... Or slams down, uh, breaking open, Ooh. and um, yeah, you can open. You can. I'm gonna say you can open the door after this crash, and able to get yourselves out and see the interior, of which um, uh, Tony, you can now post on. I think you can post on the thing now. Hang on. I currently. Uh, what do you guys? Rings? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Let me wait. I want to see. What do you have up? You don't have it up. Okay, cool. Uh, boom. Out of curiosity, did your map have a pre-crashed limousine prepared? Absolutely not. I wish I had, but you know what? <laughs> I will have to I will beautiful. consult with this you next awesome. time. All right. This and really is epic. stream can see yeah. uh, what we've got going on. Though I am, ah. this is, uh, ooh, interesting. Um, the I want to see how wise, much... Uh, I get a black box around us, and then outside of the black box, I can see everything. So I've zoomed in. Yep, I had a feeling. Okay. So, all right, we'll just um, we'll uh, just reveal it all. Fuck it, like, cause you're already inside. Okay. We're, yeah, we're in there. So like, we know we know what's going on. Yeah, you in there? Um. Yeah. So go ahead and let them in. I'm going to assume we don't get any sort of like. Surprise Stealth round. Bonuses to this fight, right? I don't <laughs> oh, believe so. Oh, 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 no. Surprise, maybe, because I'd be shocked if a car exploded into my living room. But I wouldn't yeah. be. 
I wouldn't be confused when people came out of it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a transformer. <laughs> um, I wish I for- can't move it right now. I don't know. Anyways. So yeah, you have before you Excuse me. This giant cathedral. Um a lot of the walls, the stone walls are smashed and, and destroyed. A lot of the pillars are dented and cracked. Um but the walls immediately around you are reinforced stone and steel concrete uh mixture with um scaffolding going all the way down. It looks like it's getting re- redone on the inside. Um with with new metal um what are they called? Not bars. Fuck. Scaffolding. Beams. Oh. Steel beams going down the sides up and the roof. They're it's it's going from the inside out. They're going to be it's going to be a whole new thing. There is a whole bunch of electronics all over the place. Um, tables, chair, a couple of chairs. Looks like it's a but it's a mess. It's, it's there's so much all over the place. But the thing that catches your attention is the big, big, big boy in the middle. Um, here, let me. Yeah, this might help actually. Can I now access the boy? I can't access the boy. That's not bueno. Uh. Baldrick, what what the fuck? <laughs> I assume I'm in the front with Baldrick because I'm the one giving him the directions. <laughs> yes. the in the the GPS back of us right now. I, I feel okay. like Nash and Ramita have prepped entry um, and are launching themselves through the door immediately. Because let's be honest. Already we'll be raging. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you guys, yeah, we, you guys. Same. Okay. So you guys are already in. Um, is this one? Ride or die. Boston. <laughs> All right, so. Wait, my brain. Okay. Am I ready for this? No. Uh, you see a giant Hulkin machine that is thrashing around, walking around. The eyes, or what might be lenses, uh, are blinking. Um. And it is crashing things, throwing things. Uh, you see or you hear a giant or a, a large, loud, high-pitched scream from Tilly, who's over on the side with their remote control uh, cussing and stre- just screaming commands. Stop. Sit. Don't. What are you doing? Oh, my God. And then you see little old, um, Amelia crouched in a corner. And the machine is absolutely close to her. Uh, its reach is probably... It is 15 feet tall. Its reach is 7 to 8 feet wide. Um, and it is less than that near her. If it doesn't attack her directly, she uh, might... She's within uh, debris distance, is what I was going for. Um, and that might explain why the no response to the call... Oh, what do you guys move? Uh, fuck me. And he's going to take out his um, semi-automatic pistol and shoot at the thing three times. <laughs> all right. Why don't you all roll initiative? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Oh. Coming out hot. You I and me, Baldrick. <laughs> oh, that yeah, was almost no, really good. Okay. It's still okay, but it's not as good. <laughs> Uh, chonky dice. Chonky hey. dice. It's hor- horrible. You have uh, a plus six, my... and that's what? what I got. What did you all roll? Wow. Total of 11? 11. Eleven. Um, 16. We get... I also rolled an 11. <laughs> <laughs> Am I can first? DM, can all three of us we roll to see who's actually going first? Like, we just can't. Beat. One second, Runda. one second. Okay. Anybody okay. roll above a 15? Uh, 16. 16, what, okay, so... We are lucky. What did darkness get? Did anybody catch? Did Everyone they say what? Everyone else got, got an 11. Okay, so... And 10. Uh, so, te- oh, so oh. 10 through... Okay, so... 
Yeah, uh, have, let's have the elevens do a rollies. But uh, whoever just gets flat rollies or initiative rollies. Wait, wait, wait. Let's do first. Uh, I think it's What's dex, your dex, right? Modifier? Who's got the highest dex? Yeah, first. Uh, I'm a sixteen. Uh, uh, fourteen. I'm going. Yeah, that I'm going last. I have a twelve. <laughs> okay, so that explain that answers that already. I told you, do more jogging. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I won't say nothing almost, from any of you. Somehow I'm going first. I feel like 15 years on you. I don't even want to hear it, young man. <laughs> um, Y'all can talk about that joke really. around in my presence. You look like you got 30 years on me because of the. Because <laughs> you smoked those. That wasn't crappy. Ass. I mean, yes, but. <laughs> you both look very old. Yes, yes, very nice. <laughs> I'm not even fucking listening. Nope. Jesus. <laughs> Lathander. Oh my god. <laughs> Lathander. Um. I really should okay. keep this hat on, but it is extremely impossible to get over my headset here. And I've been trying to play Django with it all night. It's been a problem. Oh. That's where you, you, get, you gotta get stickies and put it on the on the headset. Yeah, but then it wobbles and it's a different problem. But I was thinking wobble, about wobble, that wobble, though. Wobble. Um, where is? Why do I not have? Take apart an old headset and then mount it inside the hat. Mm, Honestly, I'm tempted go. by that. <laughs> and well, then you can bring it to your work calls, and they'll be like, "What are you doing?" <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. I wear a cat ear headset in work meetings. Your words right. are very different, though, and in, in you're oh, in his defense. That's what I need. No, that's what I need. I need a cat ear headset, and then I'll just cut slits through the, the <laughs> hat so the cat ears hold it in place. There you go. Join that's us. Solid. Let's join us. Also, my work is like really serious automotive stuff. I feel like it's less There's appropriate nothing. for me to look all weird. All right. I, so literally, so then you got your gun and you fucking know it. Oh, no, no, no. Fen Rana. Um, Hi. You are in the first of the initiative rolls at a 16. What do Let's you do? Let's go. Let's go. Um, so I want to get... Can I get within... Let me measurement. Measure, measure, measure. They're yes. a long way away. They're, They're a really long hard. way away, but I just got to get within... What is it for my spell? They're, they're 90 feet away from us at the moment. Or for me. I just gotta get within 60. Uh, cause currently I, uh, my main goal is to get its attention off of the defenseless little, little child in the corner going no, no, no. <laughs> uh, can I get within 60 feet of it? <clears throat> There's the ruler button. Boop, boop. Also, did you bring your familiar? Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, that's right. I got to roll his initiative. Yeah, you should probably do that. I should do that. I'll stop uh, you I'm going to have 11. this be his. <laughs> <laughs> if it's not, we're killing it. <laughs> <laughs> so you say that and you're being facetious, but I got to know what his thing is. He's currently a raven. So that that's is so 12. Son of a <laughs> <laughs> well, well, well is going he before rolled us. Again. <laughs> hey guys. So yeah, so did I, which is sad. <laughs> well, I mean, we got he a ten. Five, so there's we that. got eleven. We got a twelve. Yo. Anyways. Okay. So what does Fenrana do? Because uh, little birdie does not go yet. Not yet. Not yet. Uh, so Fen is, I guess. Because this is 30 feet. Does that get me within 60? God fucking damn it, no. Because within that square, it's 70. But that's 60. And I can be within 10 feet of it. Yeah, that works. Uh, Fen is going here. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, I cannot. Fen is going here. There you go. Okay. So that's 30 feet. Is that over uh, a banister? See, do is. you do you blue skidoo over a banister? Blue skidoo, <laughs> you can't tell. <laughs> I honestly don't know what that is. That's from Blue's so, Clues. That, we'll just say that it's it's 
to the decoration or something? Yeah, that looks I mean, like it could, it could be like a banister and like some little like rampies down. It could yeah. be not too yeah. high. It's up to you yeah. if I need to have to make a dex check or what. No, we're it's, it's a sixty foot drop. Oh no! Yeah. <laughs> it's a staircase. Just, I'm gonna be a hero and just trips. <laughs> <laughs> Jumps over this two foot ledge and then just drops another ten feet. Um, if no, you were Ravens sure. next in initiative, it will save you. <laughs> <laughs> call an ambulance! Call an ambulance! <laughs> but not for me. But not for me. I feel like oh, the, God. The police showing up to this is going to be an interesting scene. <laughs> <laughs> Would I believe rail. the government officials, the robots, the one that drove, drove through <laughs> the charge, <laughs> it was not the cowboy, in fact. <laughs> All right, and Bye. then I guess so. That's within ten feet, right, of it. Um, I need to get whether or not. Can you see this right here when I do this? Hang on, it I got you. It should show it. rulers, but like, yeah, it's, it's not showing my ruler. Yeah, the the creature. No, the creature's sixty here. feet away from you, actually. Is it sixty feet away from me? I'm seeing it for for my ruler. If I click on you and I click on it, mine shows right. sixty five. Unless you're talking 65. like to the edge. I, yeah, I was doing edge. Then I would uh, do. I would do. I do center. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. Either, I would way, do center either way, I just gotta do. I just gotta do. So, can you see my ruler now? No. No. Oh, oh, damn it! I don't I think we share rulers. Please. It might not be a ruler for everything, y'all. Just in case, you know, we're used to roll twenty. We're not used to AV TT, so you'll have to bear with us as we're ad all adjusting. It's fine. Uh, basically. Uh, can I draw? Will you see what I draw? We'll fucking see, I guess. Is it erasable? That is the it question. It is. It is. Good. Yes, so there's a little eraser button. Anyway, uh, brush. You see that? No. Yes. Yes. Gotcha. Oh yeah, there it is. Ha! Breath is fine. <laughs> right there. Are fine. What? Right there. I oh, cast yes. it. Okay. You cast Shatter. I cast Shatter. Um, cast Shatter. What is the saving? I assume it's automatic. And I'm casting third level Shatter. Okay. Uh, Constitution. Uh, What's the and radius? it's inanimate, so it's a disadvantage, right? If it's metal, is it? Uh, it should be right because it's lightning. It's Shatter is thunder. Or no, damage. it's concussed. Yeah, it's concussed. thunder. Never mind. <clears throat> Shatter is thunder. Thunder damage. Um. So, uh, metal has disadvantage on the saving throw. Yes, inorganic metals. It is con, right? Or yes, you said con. wisdom? Con. Okay. Con save. Yeah. Uh, and inorganic metals such as stone, crystal, or metal has have disadvantage on the saving throw. That is a twenty-one. A disadvantage? Oh no! Sorry. Wait. <laughs> you said. <laughs> hang on, hunt. You said metal. Uh, thunder. Thunder no, 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 no. So inorg inorganic creatures made of inorganic materials such as stone, crystals, or metal have disadvantage on this saving throw. Right. Okay. That's okay. Cool, cool, cool. It's only adding a 23 to its roll. All right, no, 15. It still fucking saves. <laughs> okay, but that's okay, but that's okay. It's okay. It it's still... It still does... Something, it should right? do like half damage. Yes, it does half damage. All right, so I'm just gonna roll it in here. Normal roll. Boop. Look at those. How nifty. All the d8s. Uh, so 19 divided by two. Yeah, 19 and a half. So that's. We'll just do 10. 10. I like that. Um, mine. Key. Yeah. Ooh. So 10 damage. Cool. Um, I've officially caught its attention. You have. Garar. And then I have a bonus action I can still do. Uh, which will be, let me get my bonus actions. To inspire. Anyone within 60 feet that can hear me. Ramita. Um, I would be very appreciative if somebody bigger than me or stronger than me could help. So you have a D eight on uh, 
Ability checks, attack roll, or saving throw. To add to it. Once. Yep. Darkness, you're muted. You're still muted. All right. There you go. I had to run outside. There were baby rabbits. Three of them. Like that. Baby. Oh, they are me. But they <gasps> Fen gave you bardic inspiration. I know. I heard. Okay. I had these on. I just was muted so I could you go. talk to the rabbits. <laughs> so now how how we can tell each other where, where we're aiming shit is just to draw on the map. And we can erase it afterwards. Cool. And you did... Okay, so you did 10 damage. 10 uh, thunder damage. And it sees you. It it cringes. It, it me. creaks. It stops. It turns its torso, looks at you, and the head kind of tilts. The eye blinks, and then it takes its first step towards you. Uh, what does your raven do? As it is next. Let me figure out what he can do. It gets smushed into feathers. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. He can fly 50 feet. Okay. So, oh, nope, ignore that. We don't have a thingy for him, but I'm going to assume he's like. Uh, yeah, you might have to draw. It. <laughs> I'm assuming he I, was in actually, the same I square I was. Fine. So, yeah, yeah, we'll say that. Let me actually, you go, you do the oh, thing. I will find it right now. Token. There's that. Um, ruler. Thank you for the stretch blade. Yes, thank you, blade. I totally missed it. You know what, bad influence. Blade. Oh. oh. Stretch. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was trying to figure out where my bird is going. It's okay, I'm crafting. Give him the bird! Uh, so he is gonna come... over here... There it is. There yeah. he is. <laughs> And let me make sure you have, uh, unless I can move it. Let's see if you have. I can move him. Okay. Nope, I can't. I, I didn't think so. I fly completely. Yeah, he monster. Um, I don't have familiar token right now. So where did you want him? Do you want him where the blue by dot blue is? Dot? Okay. Where the blue dot is, yeah. He's going to kind of go up a little bit further than I am. There. Well, in the same square as the blue dot. But yeah. That's what I. Oh. Sorry. You're good, you're good. Okay. And is that his action? Uh, So his action, I can't really have him do a whole bunch because he can't attack or anything like that. Sure. Um. So that I'm just going to have him kind of like sitting there okay. like 10, 20 feet off the ground. Okay. So he'll fly up as close as possible. Um, Rick, you are next. Yeah, yeah. So I'm just going to do... How far was it? Uh, there. Okay. I'm just going to run... Action dash, bonus action dash, and end my turn. Oh! <laughs> Is there any way I could have reacted to grab on? <laughs> <laughs> Which I would like to um, say, for flavor, what happens is Rick, like, dives through the little, like, service window between the bits of the limo and, like, pounces out and just, like, keeps on going. Nice. What? Uh, <laughs> um. Yeah, no, I don't think. <laughs> I don't Boing. think would have been able to go with you. Do his knees have springs like Tigger's <laughs> tail that just bounces? Like, what do you does, mean? Does the robot have no, mechanical he's, limbs? Yes. He's he's go go gadget. He's Mister Mister Gadget right here. Um. Okay, so that is your your action. Um, Nash. <laughs> sure. Next. 
Yeah. Come on, melee glasses. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, so I'm just double checking something. Okay. So it looks like this is. So Nash is coming in hot. Um, let me just make sure. Yeah, that's in the range. Um, so Nash is back here. Uh, he is also going to leap over this banister type thing. Um, uh, he first off, as he rolls out of the car, he will collect his cowboy hat, put it on his head. Um, as as he starts sprinting and jumping over the banister, he is in fact going to shout "Yeehaw!" Um, because he's always wanted to do that. Um, and then um, from one of the garter belts. Uh, where he keeps his weapons, he pulls out um, a little like tube that expands into a javelin. And as he leaps over the banister, he is going to hurl that motherfucker um, with a reckless attack. OK, I double checked to make sure it was uh, it was um, strength before. <laughs> so, yeah, <It's> hard. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, mm -hmm. that's a. Uh, there we go. That's a, a dirty 20. Nice. Um, for that javelin. And it has a range between 30 and 120 feet, so we should be good there. Um, oh, did I roll that twice? Okay, the, uh, I did roll it twice. Uh, we'll take the... F no, uh, I only rolled the damage once. Never mind. Uh, that's seven damage. Okay, so to hit was the dirty twenty. Yes. Okay. What was that twelve? Uh, so he's reckless attack, so it's a dead advantage. Oh, all right. Yep. That. Okay. Yeah. I, forgot yeah. About. I was looking. Yeah, I was looking that up. Uh, alrighty. And so the you're damage good. is seven. Also, um, side that... note on the virtual tabletop, it tells me when you're looking at my character sheet, which is kind of ominous and fun. <laughs> Just letting you know. It also took up my entire like screen, so like I canceled that out. I was like, I can't have that. I'm going to go with the multi, you know, view of having it in a different tab. Yeah. <laughs> so, anywho, uh, yeah. So twenty, dirty twenty does hit, and you did a seven solid seven damage. Dope. Um, yeah, and he's just sort of bellowing very loudly, um, and uh, I'm getting an ad right now, so. Uh, I think we're on Dang. But we might uh, be. But that's okay. Yeah. Uh and then Well, you're what not else? you're not sub to the channel. So I use my <laughs> prime sub. Uh in fact. Uh you sure? Uh, so you're, I'm just you're, asking. You're with a prime sub, you're not even going to pay for the Wow. I pay for prime. So lame. For the <laughs> 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 But uh Yo. But uh, in fact, our channel is the only channel I watch on Twitch, and so it would be. Uh, I know sad to make my that feelings are hurt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, most of the I rest of us have our channel. Anyway, this is unimportant right now. This is unimportant. Yeah, my, feel yeah. Okay, my feelings. So are okay, the javelin. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. It's released from Nash's hand. It goes straight into the chest of the monster and is lodged. Uh, it sparks and then it moves and it looks at you, Nash. Um, of which it is Boston's turn. Um, yeah. Um, I'm going to move over to Nya, I th which is uh, 15, 20, 30. And ah, close, it's fine. Um, he is going to be grumbling to himself. Mostly curse words, but not in any, not loud enough anyone could say because he's like, I, I, you, you have one non day with a person and now you're waking up at, a, at an hour when you're, and he's just grumbling to himself as he is walking closer and closer. Berating himself. Berating himself like, this is stupid. Why are you doing this? It's fine. To be fair, you did literally offer her, uh, 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 services related to this. That is Protection true, services. That is true, but that was meant for money purposes, not just out of the blue. Hey, I need a hand, but he's not going to charge her for this. He's going to charge hey. the... 
Uh, Boston, you, you do notice that there's a message going, how much do you cost? <gasps> no. Oh, that's what he sent afterwards? Or like, when she's yeah. panicking? Yeah. Oh, for the love of... <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's fine. Um, like a big you're number. no longer, you're not in Vorak anymore, Boston. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I think he's torn because he wants to get closer, but also he wants to shoot at this thing so it gets away from her. We've already had two people do that. We're just waiting that, for its turn. Yeah, that that is true. He's going to zoom over another thirty feet to get closer. From from me, thirty. I'm right next to your bird. He's gonna look at your bird and say, hey, how you doing? <laughs> it's like he's just running next to it. Pro noises. Um. <laughs> and. Actually, and he's going to cast Shield of Faith. Um. On. Um. On Amelia. And so the. Um. Amelia, I'm here. If you can, go around and come back towards me. You're going to see me next to a bird on the staircase. Um, and he's pulling out. And that's a first level spell. And she gets. Um, uh, she gets a plus two to her um, armor class. Uh, for for the duration. It's not much, but it's better than nothing. I might be losing internet. Give me a second. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's fine. Uh, Ramita will just die. Oh. So- <laughs> Amelia gets a what resistance? A plus two to her armor class. Okay. A shimmering field appears okay. and surrounds the creature of your choice within range, granting it a plus two bonus to their armor class for the duration. It lasts okay. for ten minutes, and I do have concentration on the spell. It is fueled okay. by love. Nope. My dog is my bitch. What did what did Darkin say? Grabbing my dog just switch? hit my power switch. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> Concentration. Cool. All it's right, least... now I have the concentration marker on little on little Boston. Some good. All right, and then we are at oh, uh, just in time, Ramita. <laughs> you are oh. next. With the lowest walking speed. I have thirty-five. Thank you very much. Oh, do you? Nice. I, I think they took the feat for that. Also, barbarians get an increase to their speed at level oh, five. Yeah, I barbarians. They took yeah. the thing. They got so. zoomy zooms. Um, with my tiny little legs, I'm gonna <laughs> pitter patter as close as I can get. Um, which, um, I would say I'm gonna go the full 35. Put me in front of, I'll probably go straight, so right next to where the raven and you want me to Boston move ended up. Yeah, because I have That's to fine. walk back and then everything. That move you 70, so she, so they, that'd be Are 70, we? so they'd be about two blocks in front of me. And the crow. So what? What is it? Double dash? Did I hear that? No, I'm only going 35. I don't have yeah. double dash or anything. I mean, you you can use your action to dash. Oh, you that's what I meant. Do I have dash. Everyone's Everyone got dash. dash. Everyone has yeah, dash. Yeah. Just, I'll it, use an it action takes to dash. Away your then. Attack. It just takes away from other stuff. Oh yeah, definitely. Okay, just here, move me as far forward as possible. Real quick. That's where Rita, they do. Because yeah. before you do that. You raged at the beginning. If you don't do an attack or get hit, you will lose your rage. Oh. Um, so you may want to consider that. Um, <laughs> can I just attack a wall? Not if you dash. <laughs> no, because the, the dash takes up that action. Okay. Um, I think... I don't know if I have any darts or anything, so I'm going to... Shit. You may not need the extra rages. It may be fine. I just want to to make sure you were keeping track. No, yeah, let them let them figure out what they're doing um, yeah. correctly. Okay, I got to get into my inventory real quick. I'm sorry, guys. No, Mind you, you can stay back there a little bit and just try to huck a piece of the broken debris around this place if you want to. Just shot put <laughs> you a large can't. brick. There's, yes. Yeah, there's stone. There's, there's machine parts. That's I'll do that awesome. then. I'll get up to basically right where Boston is. I, I've put far. you next to, yeah, you're next to Nash and Fen. Yeah, as far as I can go without any extra crap, and then I shall just chuck a piece of debris at them. Okay. Um, just just throw a part of that door that Rev bent in. <laughs> 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 um, go ahead and do a roll to see if you you actually hit the 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 machine. Rick O'Connell okay. style throwing a chair. You're right. 
Roll. God damn it. No. It's like the glory days of Ermita. Throwing things at random people for no reason. <laughs> Uh, hung over. I missed. For that roll, we'll just no. Well, for that roll, the closest thing you grabbed was a rock the size of your hand, and it hit off the head of the the. Thing. So you, you, it hit. You just didn't hit. <laughs> um. At this point, it is uh the Ro- Robit's turn, and it is go. It is last looked at Nash, so it's going to take its movement in that direction. Yeehaw, and... motherfucker. Um, <laughs> Baldrick is in the way of it. Oh, <laughs> Baldrick <laughs> is in the way of that. Also, it's okay. Um, side note: When Nash raged, he grew grew a tail. Just FYI. Okay. I forgot to say that. How and I'm convenient. Gonna... <laughs> so it's going to do a movement, and then it is going to smash Baldrick because you are. Currently in its way of its target. No kiss, no date, nothing. Just okay. Wow. Damn. A Becky different, kind of, different, <laughs> different kind of smash. A Hulk what? smash. A robot smash. A Rubit, a Rubit smash. So to recap, this looks like a Sentinel from the X Men show fighting col- of like fancy Colossus, is what I'm hearing. It's robot. It's very, metal, very metal, 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 fancy man. Colossus. Very fancy Colossus with, but also not so fancy because it has exposed wires. It has exposed. It is like kind of in the middle of either being was, uh, made was, or disassembled. What are the two? He was talking about me being Colossus and the robot being a Sentinel. Oh. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna do we're gonna do a slam attack. Um, that show's all on Disney Plus. I love that show. It's so good. Jokes on you. I'm immune to all damage. <laughs> oh yes, rogue stuff. How could we forget? <laughs> Does a thirty-one hit? <laughs> um, it only doubles my armor <laughs> class and then some. <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry. 30, a twan? Oh, I didn't have to say it, but I was. it was just too good not to. You can't uh, not uh, say that. <laughs> 30, what? I, I have to go back. I'm so scared. Excuse me. <laughs> okay, uh, we're invincible. <laughs> uh, you take a slam, uh, damage you, of you 22 me, i will laugh <laughs> what is is 22 this 22 is not not enough no no i didn't think so barely even felt it <laughs> yeah baldrick only has one arm <laughs> the arm the only arm that's left is actually functional <laughs> the rest is not <laughs> It's just an arm on the ground. <laughs> it's the new thing. It's a robot thing crawling around. That's actually what my backup uh, character is. It's just Baldrick's blood. arm. Oh, no! Um, Why do you leave us? Hopefully they'll be Why back in a second. I'm not going to touch anything on the stream for just a second. Um, cool, cool, cool. So. Um, yeah, we might have to pause there because it is Finn's turn next. Uh, uh, do we want to oh, take a quick turn? break then? Um, well, they did a movement and an attack. There's not really much more to do. Uh, um, did they pass me? Like, do they keep going? No. Uh, I mean, I suppose they could pass you, but no, I, no. I like would prefer ball. it if they did. And it looks like blood is back. Blood, blood, blood. You have a few minutes to recover from your internet, and cool, it is your cool, turn. Cool, 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 cool. Apparently, one of my family members decided to mess with the fucking modem in the middle of us doing this. Oh, awesome! Oh, my family. Your I love family? them. I just might murder them. Why it's would you fine. Want that? <sighs> hey, Don't that I mean, for jokes, least... that purposes that that was a joke. If they do end up being murdered, it was not. I don't. What know. happened? <laughs> Dang it. Here's a threatening Buzz oh, family. I, it's <laughs> Look, it's not like you said Goodness. it anywhere recorded or anything. It's fine. Yeah, no, it's right? the internet. Yeah. No, and there's no even... witnesses, and I'm it's an just. Alibi. <sighs> I, I've never seen anyone watch anything on the internet once. Like, usually, you should be fine. I couldn't have killed yeah. them. I was busy murdering someone else that night. <laughs> yeah, I, I have a knife wound still. It's fine. See, like. <laughs> They're not my type. I don't go after those. 
Uh, so just a minute, minute, minute recap. Fenrana um, Baldrick was smashed uh, uh, by the robot. Took a nice swapping uh, 31 points. No, 22 points uh, down and is uh, currently standing in front of... Um, yeah, on its way to Nash, and it is now Fenrana's turn in the initiative order. Oh, good. Always great. Um. Good, that gets me within 20 feet. So I'm going to go... 30. Right? That was where I needed to be, right? Oop. Yes. So I'm 20 feet from that thing. What was I planning to do? I had a thing. With that in mind, um. Oh, yes, Aldrich. Bane. Okay. Uh, I'm casting Bane on it, so it has to make a charisma saving throw. Sweet. Oh, we do. We do the thing. It has the a plus thing. 17 to charisma. <laughs> Please, no. <laughs> Turns out giant that? evil robots, very charismatic. How do you think it got that 31? Uh, it swings with charisma. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's, uh, what is the 12? What does the 12 do? No, no. Uh, it has to... Do minus uh, a d4, I think it is. Let me. Aha! Yes, it's a, it's minus. It's the opposite of um bless. That so means he would have only takes... rolled a twenty-seven to hit me. In so. The future. <laughs> it targets must roll a d4 and subtract the number rolled from oh, the at- no. uh, any attack or re- uh, saving throw it makes until my spell is done. Yeah, gears. Is this when you, the monster you can tell me you told me about you're gonna be rolling two d twenties and adding up those two and then the modifier for like its attack rolls? Is that what this monster is? <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. Uh oh, <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. I have literally fine. no idea. I, this is not a conversation <laughs> I recall, and I if this is a joke. It, it is 100 percent a yes. joke. If, if you're ever rolling <laughs> two dice and then adding them together. And that's then bullshit. the modifier, that's nonsense. <laughs> okay, so... Sometimes the player's to, gotta die. That is true. The D, is the D4 before every action, or is it just one rolled once and then every it's time? Every action, every time, everything yeah. it does. So every time I have to roll a D, a new D4? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, every time you roll a D20, you roll the D4, yes. Mm-hmm. That's what I was... Okay. Uh, cool. All right, so a minus D4 for its attack. Sweet. Yeah. Um... Anything else Finrana would like to do? And then after, of course, the little um, little uh, bird thing. Bonus action. Um. Make sure you put the little concentrating clock thing on your character. Yes, I need you to do that because I am concentrating on a spell. How do I do this? Tick-tock, motherfucker. I don't know how to do that. It's not letting me do it. Uh, if you click on your little I character, can, I can do it for them. Yeah, select him. I, um, I, I, I do that. All I can do. Oh, no, wait. I am using ruler. Oh, conditions and markers. <laughs> <laughs> you, I do. Found. I do right click and yeah. Found. Okay. I just Found. showed it to all of stream. So um, they know how to do it now. <laughs> Yay. It's fine. It's, fine. it's a cool second. program. But. It's a cool program. People should learn how it does it. Um, <clears throat> yeah, uh, so now I'm concentrating on something. Um, I can't move anywhere. Uh, I've already used one inspiration, and I kind of want to save that up for in case I need to get to other people to do things. Um... And unfortunately, I have not taken a melee attack at this thing, so I can't use my two weapon fighting. I have nothing. <laughs> cool, 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 cool. I sit here and stare at it meanly. While the birdie does what? Um, because so it's now birdie, his turn. Uh huh. Birdie is going to. I feel like we need more metal uh, version of the attack music. I like it, though. I hear you, but I almost forgot to put on any. So, like, 
<laughs> this is a win. Um, well, no, I mean, we're just heading straight to, to uh, the Ellie. Future me. To Amelia. Amelia? Okay. Birdie is going straight to uh, Birdie. Okay. Birdie, Birdie is, is now. Bird's going to stick around Amelia, basically, this fight. It uh, is now emotional support. Going, well, yes and no, but also if things start going, like, sideways in her direction, he can use sure. uh, help action and kind of, like, distract. Uh -huh. Sure, sure, sure. Okay. Um, do you want me to move token? I can move token. Mm -hmm. That's right. Token is, is monster. How far does mm -hmm. it go? Right up on her. Four, okay, so it can go 45? Okay, cool. You can go for 50. Oh, 50. Sweet. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, after Bird is Nash, no, Rick. After Bird is Rick, and Nash is up on deck. Ha ha! So I'm just gonna swing around it without ever leaving melee. Uh, okay. Not that I'm gonna use a bonus action, so I could disengage if I wanted to. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> now I'm going to stab it from behind and spit okay. all over myself. <laughs> Very excited, folks. This is the first uh, combat in a while. In a long time. Like, 15 episodes long time. Yeah. <laughs> well, we are in... It's not 15 episodes. <laughs> That's a natural 20. Woo! That was a natural shot. That the spec. Congratulations. I didn't say how many hands I was using, so I will have one-handed that for the sake of damages. Okay. <laughs> Huh, so and that's Rick catch is catch is now second place for most natural twenties. Nice. Uh, yeah. okay. Good job, buddy. So that is <laughs> not with uh but fifteen times two would be thirty. Okay. Wait, uh, the thirty minus, is minus four? Sorry, minus three, so twenty seven damage. Wait, remind me why why the double? Because of the Crit. Crit. Right. Crit. <laughs> okay, so 15 minus... What did you say? Uh, it was 15 times 2 minus 3, because I just okay. doubled it and took away the modifier. So 27. Got it. I'm going to do math. You know what? I don't have to do math. I already had some. Thank you. I saw. Have some. Okay. Oh, sorry. No, it already doubled the dice for me. It just didn't show me that it doubled the dice. So it is just a flat 15. I oh. apologize. In the, I was in the wondering. Log, I was like... In the game okay. log, it breaks it down and shows two of each die. But on my screen, the dice, it only showed one of each. Ah, uh, okay. Um, I was going to say, I don't think I made that sword that powerful, but... We can, anyways. <laughs> well, um, I also have sneak attack, and that's adding d6s to my attacks. Yeah. Rogues get a funny thing called sneak attack where they get to add an additional up to like, what, 5d6 when they're level 20 or something nonsense yeah, like it's, that? It's cray. No, that makes sense. I was just saying the sword itself, because it's yeah. a custom um, umbrella sword that he is using that was purchased for him by, uh, or no, that he purchased. Um, yes. My bad. Winner of that lovely little pawn shop in, um, Rock. Okay. All right, Nash. You are, uh, unless there's not something else you want to do, Baldrick, but, um, movement and action. Did you have a bonus? Uh, no. I will hold my reaction. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, Nash. <laughs> Absolutely. Let's go. Uh, so Nash uh, can make it into melee from here. Uh, Absolutely. Because, well, because he, uh, he has a tail, which is a 10-foot <laughs> reach. So, uh, as each, all, as all tails do, obviously. Yeah. Um... Well, it's got to wrap around Nash, and he's seven foot tall. So if he's going to use it for a pacifier, it's got to be at least seven foot. Um, and then there's you've got the bend in it, so ten. Yeah. Um, I know what Rick's next upgrade is. <laughs> <laughs> um, and Nash is... Uh, Rick's like, forget Jaws. I want a tail. <laughs> so question... Uh, sort of interesting question here. Normally, if I was up next against uh, the bot... Uh, we'd have flanking. Um, uh -huh. Since we're still exact opposite sides, is that... 
Um... Because it still is no. a melee attack uh, from both sides, right? It is, but at the same time, the flanking is uh, an advantage when they're in the eyesight of the pursuer. And he's solely what? fixated. The flanking, like the... Never mind. So um, I was so under the impression it was when they were directly opposite. Mm -hmm. Directly yeah, opposite? Yeah, they had to be... Yeah, yeah just, directly just, opposite because you're you're right. you have their direction, their uh, attention running in two opposite directions, making it harder for them to keep track of. Right, but if there's one person behind you, yeah, you have to yeah. be turning this way, which means you're distracted to the person coming in front. Possibly, but he's zoned in on you. Just peripherals. Yeah, he's um, yeah. Well, let's it's mechanics. Let's let's I, stick with the mechanics. Mechanics. I, so yes, yeah, flanking. Flank okay. attack. Cool. I just wasn't sure if I was doing reckless or not, because um, I was going to take advantage on this one way or another. Um, <laughs> uh, so that was my question. And, um, okay. Flanking or reckless? No, no both. Uh, yep. Yeah, I'm doing flanking. Uh, so that is a 22 for the first attack. Okay. And the second one, that's a natural 20 for a 26. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Cut. And just like that, we have someone who now has beat, beat double digits with natural 20s in this campaign. Nice. Yeah. Let's go. Oh. Um, so so um, it's making me roll the double damage first. Um, so we're just going to roll that first. Um, okay. So that's 17 plus uh, strength mod. So 20. Um, okay. And then for the actual first one, uh, that would be 12. So 32 damage to it. Are you including okay. the rage modifier? Uh, yes. I had already, yeah, I think, included it, uh, right? That's strength mod, right? Uh, no. No, it's so, a set number per level. That's Okay, so it's either strength or proficiency? No, um, so I think it's plus two for... It's a strength plus two for the rage. It says strength Hang plus on. two? It's in the description. Okay, I've... Or plus two to strength... Hang on. Oh. Okay, plus two damage with. Okay, so sorry. Uh, that'll be nineteen and eleven. Okay. If it's uh, yeah, you gain advantage on strength checks plus two melee damage with strength weapons. Gotcha. And and your tail is a strength melee weapon. Yes. Let's hope so. <laughs> you would think so. Yeah, it's it's my um, rage weapon, so it's an unarmed attack, which is strength. Yeah, yeah. So it's eleven and nine. Uh, or no, 11, eleven and nineteen. And 19. Okay, so thirty yeah. total. Yeah. Cool. All right. Nash, don't fuck around. Uh, <laughs> uh the tail attack. Right, you you went straight with the tail. Yeah. Um. So Nash does this this spin and his tail just kind of go whoop, right into the hip side of this giant 15 foot robot and it breaks a part of the leg off but it is still attached to the machine so the balance is, is there and the sides it is kind of starting to keel over and there are lots of sparks a lot of glitches it is damaged um, um, after that Nash is going to just bellow in, uh, yeah, out of glee. Just, uh, probably another yeehaw and a hat tip. Um, cool. To, to the young lady in the corner, <laughs> to Tilly, who's struggling. Uh, no. <laughs> Honestly, to his opponent. <laughs> his hat tip in the, the robot. This is it Nash's game face on. Um, oh, yeah. Can Nash and I see each other through the holes we're making yet? Uh, yeah, it's not a it's not a huge huge monster, but like it is, yeah. If you your next around. question is high fiving, I, we gotta have a conversation <laughs> off stream, okay? <laughs> yeah, this is um, those activities for Nash. Like you have to ask before you can just start high fiving. <laughs> uh, at this point, uh, we have Boston. What is your decision? Uh, what are you doing at this moment after you see? Your two party members just rip into this guy. Moving right here. And okay. actually, he would not run right into combat with it. He's going to run a little bit outside of it. Um, okay. And he's going to ask, Amelia, 
What's going on? Be quick about it. And are you injured? Um. Okay. Amelia kind of looks over and is just white. If she was not pale before, she is absolutely ghost white now. And she's just like shaking. Is Tuki G okay? Is that. Uh, and she's like frozen. She's talking, she's mute, basically. It's not helping. Crap. Um. She's gone into shock. <laughs> yeah. Great. Oh, crap. Um. Thinking, thinking, thinking. You could lay on hands, but this would only be your second date, so. <laughs> I thought yeah. this for you, Baldrick. <laughs> <laughs> Second He's date, not close enough base. to do lay on lips. Um. Uh, well, I can still move. I've only used my movement to get to there. Uh, Tilly, what's going on? You got 10 seconds. Um, and he is going to hold his action um, to... Um, uh, <clears throat> will, will Tilly respond in that time, or am I going to have to wait for her like response? Um... She can she can respond in six seconds for your turn, yeah. Um, so you're gonna wait to hear what her response and then and then act. Yeah. Okay. So in the same in the same um, as your movement, you go you talk mm-hmm. to Amelia. She freezes. She's already freaking scared. She sees you and she's just like, help. And mm-hmm. you go over and look at Tilly, who's like on the other side, who's got this. This little halfling in this this hover chair um, with this remote about the size of her head, this big old square remote, and she's pushing buttons and pulling knot levers and things and talking to it, what looks like a microphone coming out in the center. And uh, she's talking and yelling at it. She hears you. The fucking thing's on the fritz. I don't know. I booted it up. It was working. And then it didn't. And just fucking stop it. All right. Um, um, well, um, he is going to get in. He's going to use his action to dash right. So he's right. He's right in it and all nice and comfy. Well, right here. So that way, as a bonus action, he can slap some lay on hands onto his boy, uh, Baldrick. OK, because uh, Baldrick Cause- looks a little uh, scrappy, if we if I may be so <laughs> honest. Baldrick has, yeah, <laughs> you got the his, he's got a lot of lot mess and long. He looks about as as damaged up as the uh, the monster, the golem, if if not worse. You know, if uh, as you come around, you see he's only got like half a head. Oh, you know, yeah, if you look like, like sh- smashed in. if you he's going to walk up and he's going to reset the head. Just, <laughs> you know, if uh, you uh if uh, you always look like this, we wouldn't have to try to hide you. And he's going to give him 15 points of lay on hands. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's nice. so many. That yeah. is nice. <laughs> I'm the healer. <laughs> Why? I think everyone forgets that. <laughs> and in this camp, in this uh, one... Uh, fuck. Anyways, words. <laughs> All right. So, Ramita, it is your turn now. Okay. So, I'm going to take my... So I do have to ask, my hammers in my stats says that it has a reach of 20. Uh-huh. You can throw it. What? Is that... You can probably throw it. You can huck that hammer. Hell yeah. Yeah, range of 20 and then a little 60 and tiny. So I think oh, it can yeah. at 60, but I think I could reach 20. Is that correct? No, it's short range throwing is 20, long range is 60. Yeah. And it just has to do with oh. rolling with advantage or disadvantage. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, so it's as far as uh, the w- weapon will go. So you can run, chuck it, and then pick it back up later and just start wailing on this thing. Essentially. Okay. Yeah. Yep, that's my plan. <laughs> Love that. Um, Where's the thingy? I'm gonna go five to ten. I do love the idea of a hammer with a 20-foot melee, though. I'm a halfling. Can I move? Oh, I'm I love the idea of a halfling running faster than their hammer. (laughs) Just like shuts, hits, and then runs because she has a fit 35 foot. Yeah, throws it 
15 or know, throws I'm it. Yeah. Chuck my hammer. You, you know those extended like like <laughs> tools? I feel like it literally she just clicks a button and extends like a measuring tape as she <laughs> swings back and it just hits. <laughs> I was thinking like the cartoon like boxing glove on the extended arm. Exactly. Arms. Yeah, except it's just a hammer. <laughs> it's a cyberpunk uh, Harley. Okay, dirty Harley 20. Quinn. Okay. Nice. Uh, that hits. Okay. And ooh, the X. And then for my second attack, it you shall be a rock. Oh, okay. can I move? <laughs> I get two attacks. Yeah, no, you're right. You're fine. Huh. <laughs> Another rock. Twenty-four. For a hit. Yep. That hits. What would the damage be on that? Improvised weapon. Improvised, yeah. So you should have it on. Up to the DM, but typically those are a D4. Yeah. Okay. Three. Okay. So nine points total. <laughs> Tiny little hit. <laughs> okay. Plus your strength mod. It's, it's a D4 plus plus your strength mod. Yeah, it would oh. be add strength. Yeah. Yes, yeah, especially for melee, since you're raging. Okay. For melee, it's always add strength and then... So plus, plus five to rage. whatever I said. And I plus two for said. rage. Uh, so five you're... Five and then two. Yes, a five... Wait, I... No. It was six and three. Six so and three, add, then plus five. For, for rage bonus. Yeah. For my strength at being added on, because my strength modifier is a plus five. Wait, no. Uh, I'm looking at the wrong area. That's a plus two. Uh, what is yeah. that? <laughs> yeah, your strength yeah. mod is a plus two. You'd have to... Yeah, it's because I'm raging. Okay. No, that doesn't make any sense. I'm so confused with my sheet no, right yeah, now. You, so you would add, it would be five in total. It mm -hmm. would be five in total, no extra on top of it. So it would be five in total. You're right. Oh, Five plus the three, so that's eight plus six. Fourteen points of damage, gears. Sorry, I want to look at the sheet as well. You're just totally sure. Fun. Yeah, because I'm confused. Can you tell we're a room of DMs? <laughs> yes. So <laughs> we just plus two on the damage. So it's plus two <laughs> and then plus another two. <laughs> so it'd be a total okay. of four, adding um, to whatever your roll was. Okay, which was three, so. Or so yeah, three? seven. Yeah, seven. My mind's gone. I'm sorry, guys. That's fine. That's still newbie. You're all good, sweetheart. We forgive you. <laughs> I mean, I don't. I can't promise now. Right now, but yeah. Oh, there it is. <laughs> we don't okay, forgive. So that Brett, was though. no. Why would we? <laughs> <laughs> Never forgive Brett. <laughs> so that was actually a, a damage of thirteen between the two attacks. And then did we do the 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 oh, light no. hammer with the? No, because that wasn't. No, the light hammer already did yeah. the math. Right. Yeah, okay. I just clicked it. Yeah, the light hammer already did the math for us. It was it was the improvised weapon that needed the the okay. extra math. I to it. shortcut that in future, you can just use the light hammer damage because it is D four. It is the same. Um, yeah. In the future, go ahead and just do it twice. Yeah. <laughs> Real quick, your light hammer doesn't add your rage bonus in automatically oh right no so it is not. another plus two to that another plus two yeah yeah because i always have to add that in manually don't they have to click wouldn't that add in if you click rage there's not the a box? rage button to click on that that adds oh, into no, the it's sheet. how many times never mind it's how many times you rage sorry mm -hmm. i'm it, do you I, think they would fix that or add that as a feature for barbarians? Right? That would be but, really nice i mean they have they have it for uh hybrid forms with blood uh hunters yeah yeah, it well, changes also, my entire uh, thing whenever right. I change. Well, they to my suck, form. so you know it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> okay. Blood hunters are the best. They kill themselves. <laughs> and everyone Tell around me them. about it. <laughs> uh, they just big old emo boys. I'm sorry, that was wrong. Anyways, so <laughs> now we're doing a robot's turn, and the robot is still focused on Nash. Even though get bit, robot. The last, Let's even go. the last person that hit it was Ramita. Um and he's gonna do another attack. Um Absolutely. Uh, oh, Piers, do we get attack of opportunities as it's running away? From uh, it, the, it the moved out of the reach roll. of both Rick it and It moved out of their melee rage. So they get uh opportunity attacks. 
Yeah. As, uh, I suppose, yeah. Because basically yeah. he's trying to leave and we're like, hold on. This a is second. true. It did move. On its... You're absolutely right. So yeah, at, uh, opportunity attacks uh, for Baldrick and um, Boston. Oh no. Oh shit. Is that what I think that is? That's that is another, another natural. Oh my god. I, I hate to do this as well, but I also rolled a natural 20. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a class. You're not leaving, motherfucker. <laughs> I'm gonna also just stash in a little sprinkle of smite with that, if that's okay with you here. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> It's not gonna hit. The, it's not gonna hit the orc. It's not. I'm not gonna hit the air. <laughs> yeah, I'll allow it. Do another. Do a smite. Oh, yeah. oh. where where be my smites? I'll ignore that last thing I just did. Gears, smite? I would like to formally apologize uh, for our shenanigans. <laughs> Why? Uh, that's an 18 from me for damage. Um, Holy crap! That's a lot of information in the chat. What the hell? The, That's why I'm doing it over here. Oh, okay, doing... I was. I meant what? to go back to game log and I hit send to game log because that's a thing. <laughs> um, okay, so your hit was 18? Yeah. Okay, that does hit. No, no, 18 damage. Oh, sorry, that's right, you had a natural 20 to hit. <laughs> I, yeah. The added information just threw me off. Okay. Um, uh, also, I am doing this my at second level, so it has an additional D8, just to let you know. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the for the just the regular arm strike, because I don't have any weapons, um, that's a D6. Uh -huh. And then I have my uh, t initial 2D8, so this one's first. That's okay, that's not too bad. And then... Okay. Uh, 20 radiant damage, and... Um... <laughs> um nine uh, physical damage. So it's a total of 29 points of damage. How would you like to do this? <laughs> <laughs> You're not going anywhere, bitch. <laughs> it was supposed to just be coffee. <laughs> it's what he's shouting. <laughs> as he punches this thing, like he grabs, as he punches into it, he's gonna grab some of like the wires he feels and just like, just tug him out. <laughs> Rips, okay. So y'all see uh, Boston, well, first, uh, uh, Baldrick goes over and uses his sword and does a nice slash to one of the legs, throws it on off of its uh, balance, and it crashes in the ground. Baldrick, or Boston, fuck, y'all with your names, man, <laughs> reaches in, uh, fucking. I'll grab its chest or its head. I can go go to war. I was gonna say, come it, you know, uh, heart rip, <laughs> grab the chest, grab some ri uh, wires, pulls it out, and then you see the lights kind of just. Yeah, look at like its core, just the wires inside. <laughs> <laughs> you have a uh, breath over there, old man. I think what you're trying to say is you're welcome. <laughs> I had him right where I wanted him. Uh, Billy. He's, he's going to turn around and just run to Amelia and make sure she's OK. <laughs> like Tilly in her hover chair run uh, comes over to the machine. You son of a bitch goes over to the head, cracks it open, pulls out a, a section is like wrist, you know, deep into the head, pulls out a chip and then son of a bitch kicks it with the tip of her hover chair, turns around, goes over to this desk that looks like it could have um, been uh, a part of some kind of debris damage. Goes over to it, plugs in, and throws on her headphone headset. Just goes at it. She's not said a word to any of you. Yeah, she's um, just going straight to work and, and figuring out what the hell went wrong. Yeah, we uh, see what son of a bitch was about. Am I getting food out of this? Just checking in on this, yes. You want to do it or shall I? I'll attempt, and if it doesn't work, I'll call for backup. Gotcha. You're entirely enjoying that too much. Hey. And walks. <laughs> Style can't be hidden. Yeah, I guess I I'm going to go over to Tilly. The boss is going to take off his helmet because he's in full power armor. Just <laughs> <laughs> um, before we get into this, <laughs> before we get into this RP scene, let's 
Uh, I'll take a breath, go to break, and come back uh, with the sippies done. And uh, yeah. All right. We'll see y'all soon. Bye. Hello and welcome back to the stream today. It is your friend Bubbles here to sell you on a new invention called Bubbles. They're exciting. They're amazing. They're glistening and glimmering. Children love them. And you can make them into a giant slip and slide if you try hard enough. I don't know how else to sell you on Bubbles any more than that right now okay but if you need it if you need it bubbles will also give you an insight into the stream of breaking character i'm not kidding you should never drink bubbles but if you drink bubbles and then come hang out with the stream it gives you another level. Anyway, now it's time to welcome the cast and crew of Breaking Character, and I'm gonna go run and shoot my bubbles. Okay, bye bye. <sighs> well, hello everyone. Hello everyone. Blade oh, pulled a posture check, fully knowing that your ass was crunched over like a fucking gremlin. <laughs> <laughs> so do, do we have a Is discount? Tony or Brett? Someone just came into my room and threw a canister of bubbles at me for some reason. Uh, yeah. Shouted a bit. I got pepper sprayed and then like kicked and I like woke up with bubbles next to me. It was weird. You no, know, I'm weird. I'm loving that this is a bit like just somebody takes over and it's not Tony. Um what are you talking about a bit? What are you talking about? Yeah, I mean, I know. Like, I do not. Tony, you need better security. You need better security. Like, <laughs> random people every <laughs> week, right before we start, break into your room, tie you up, do a weird recording, and then just walk out and as you untie yourself. Who Maybe says he gets tied nuts. up? Maybe he's just not in the room. Maybe he like he just leaves for a second and then he comes anyways. back to like some strange person. Tony, what the do you mean? Out. Tony lives in there. That door is an optical illusion. There's no exit out of that room. He does not leave. Actually, it's an episode uh, of Twi no, I Twilight. No I've painted Twilight the inside zone. of my cardboard box. I live on the side of the road. <laughs> it's bigger on the inside. I get it. <laughs> Oh god. Well, welcome back to breaking character. <laughs> um let's see what we get encountered uh, uncovered in this encounter. Um as everyone decides to go and take care of um the the happenstance. So uh, as far as I caught before the break, Nash and Fenrana were planning on going to check on Hilly. Uh Ben is taking lead. Nash is just keeping an eye on it for a second and will come over if needed. Okay. But Nash is giving space because he is big boy. Okay. It is big room. We have big, big cathedral. Um, <laughs> and then... Okay, so yeah. Uh, Tilly, this tiny little halfling in this big old hover chair... Um, Wearing, you know, headset. Just got the, if uh, needed reminding, she was the third place winner of the contest, uh, not but a day ago. And uh, has bright cotton candy pink hair, and I call her talkative Tilly because she does that. And she's in her hover chair. She does not walk, and she's over at her computer, um, just going at this this software bit chip that she pulled out of her machine and is going through the coding at the moment. Uh, yeah, um, Ben's just going to kind of walk up and lightly tap, uh, Tilly on the shoulder. He removes her headset. Yeah, oh, hi. Oh, thank Hello you. There. Thank you. Um, this, what you did was great. Um, yes, uh, what happened? Also, why here? Also, what was the plan? Um, 
So, and she pulls the, uh, the chair back and, and looks at you like, all right, um, so what happened was, and she goes into the speech of basically you get, um, because she talks and <laughs> we don't have time for all the, uh, the mistakes that I'm going to make in her little speech. Um, basically what you get is that this is her, her area. She experiments. She's owned it for a little while, uh, bought it cheap and she's in the middle of rebuilding it. It looks like a mess. It's been a mess for a while, but this is the first comp year she's been able to enter in the competition. She got third place. She's fine with it. With the money that she's got, um, she's going to continue the renovations, and hopefully next year when she wins, she's going to redo the whole thing. It's her little warehouse. She can do whatever she wants inside of it. Mm -hmm. And uh, the robot was supposed to be a security thing in preparation for that final rebuild. And it was going to be a thing that's just going to be a sentinel walking up and down and protecting her stuff for when she's able to do all that stuff. Um, it is her bodyguard, essentially. Security for this place. Cool, 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 cool. Um, might I suggest uh, next time having a kill switch? You know, I have one. It what? It glitched. I don't know what happened. It's usually voice command. It only responds to my voice, and I was. It was starting to power down, but for whatever reason, it uh, snapped and it just started destroying things in the area. I have no idea what happened, but I. That's. I'm looking at it. I'm gonna see what happened. Hopefully, it's something I can fix. If not, I've got a few other chips. I'll just go through those and then redo that. It'll be a basic. It won't be able to respond to my voice. It'll have a different kind of switch. It's going to be mundane, but I don't care. I I really want this to work, you know? Simple for a reason. Simple things work for a reason, unfortunately. When the invent stuff doesn't work, it's always easier to uh, have that nice little back switch. That way we don't have to uh, murder a robot. I mean, that would be great if it was working for people, too, but I don't... Mm, I have more complicated stuff. This one, for some reason, just happened to be... I don't know. It was a bad day. Maybe it had something to do with the... Oh, the grid! And she goes back to her computer and starts uh, hacking and, like, opening up windows and starts looking at other stuff. Doing color things. In... Huh? I'm sorry. The grid is in... The grid is in like um, as in, kind of just she's like, staring, like, she's staring at her, her her yeah she's staring at her computer she's like the actual internet grid that every all can um everyone is connected to yeah absolutely except i usually don't connect into it until i have the final product but there was a program that i had downloaded and i hadn't quite looked at it but it looked mundane and so she downloaded something she downloaded a virus <laughs> She downloaded the system getting... to acknowledge the the internet atmosphere that exists throughout all of us, and for some reason it messed with her other things. There was a glitch, basically. Yeah. The hardware didn't line up properly. Essentially, yeah. Her personal coding plus this other coding that she had downloaded, um, it didn't much. Created didn't a murder well. bot. <laughs> kind of. Right. Well... Here it is. Here it is. That's why. Oh, that's that's cool. What? But I don't know if that's gonna work. Um, she and then she reads off. Shoulder. She looks. She looks at the coding. She's pointing at it. So this says that if it gets damaged to a certain level, it's gonna actually just attack anything in the area. And that would be great, except that I have a lot of stuff I don't want damaged. It needs to only damage certain things, that are especially things that move. But only with mo that. Hmm. I'm gonna have to delete that and override it with another program that I got over here, just a voice command. But then it's not gonna work if I'm not here. If I don't have the voice command, it's gonna be able to work on its own. And she just rambles off. Yeah. Fen is just kind of like, okay, well, robot got broken. Cool. Um. <laughs> I just realized what you fucking put in chat, Tony, and I, I had to stop for a second. What the fuck? <laughs> no, did you do a break? Did you do a brain break? <laughs> oh, God. Tony, <laughs> do you need a supervisor? I am a supervisor, and he doesn't listen to me. And so I said, I'm drinking these bubble canisters someone left in my room. 
No, no, no. No, no, no. You can't listen. Toddler. Just because your bird just loves be you does not mean that you should get, <laughs> drink everything it gives you. I, For the record, they make you burp a lot, but it's fun burps. Also, Brett, are you suggesting that the person that comes in at the end of our breaks is the bird? Yes, a hundred percent. Also, just Ramona. Art, does it like stay? Oh. We haven't gotten that far. I will update you when I learn. <laughs> Anywho, um, <laughs> is there any more interaction that you guys would like to have with Tilly? Um, with Tilly, no. I think I'm gonna go back to the uh, Nash and be like. That's a lot. It's gonna stay down, and she's gonna try and fix it. However, I do believe someone's gonna have to keep an eye on her. Like one of us. Like we're leaving somebody no, here. No, 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 no. So like, like Boston could be. So like more of more of a. Uh, how to put this? You want a she needs adult supervision, even though she is an adult. <laughs> she is not. I mean, I mean, she's still a child. Like she's still really young. We, uh, yes, yes, and more often than not, those who have the inventor's sort of brain don't think with regular people's logic, and therefore, danger is always a thing, I mean, especially. I mean, those who make robotics because they often go off the end very quickly. This wasn't even that dangerous though. It that was like a four, maybe a three. But people, not us. That is a death threat. Also, Rick lost an arm. I'll Rick say that. Rick, well, Rick lost a good bit of him. Rick, are you okay over there? Oh, yeah. Uh You'll be fine. And Rick is like over picking up pieces of the car and like reattaching them and using mending. Uh, I did the math about three seconds ago. It's going to take him 12 hours, but I can repair it myself. <laughs> With parts of his patient. Or mending. No, the Sorry. car. I, Boston can't heal a car. <laughs> until we get an AI like Kit from Knight Rider. But until then. <laughs> Actually, I um, love that idea of lay on hands. They're like. Because I'm sentient, it works on me. So if we were to download me to the car, you could repair it. Technically. It's the only thing that is, le if you have two hit points and the only thing left to do is your hand, yeah, that could be, yeah. yeah uh, um, or your head. Nash is is going to look over at uh, Baldrick repairing the car um, and, and pick up the arm that's on the ground. Uh, you need a hand. <laughs> now I need to know did you pick up Rick's arm or did you pick up the giant robot arm is there a difference <laughs> which, which one is funny or great I, I kind I really of want to pick up the like robot pulling arm something. Um, at this point heavy. we're going to cut over to Boston checking in on Amelia <laughs> and ignored <laughs> yeah. and yeah. she is as soon as she's able to take a breath, she's just sitting with hands cuddled, huddled to her face and just kind of shaking in her face. She turns and looks at you and suddenly with the most energetic you've seen her gets up, jumps up, wraps all of her arms around you. <laughs> Her her <laughs> neck to neck How many arms kind are of hug here. <laughs> it was Tilly with the hands. That was yeah, that was no, not no. her project. <laughs> you said she all of her arms. Like, are there multiple Full like, arm the length? I think. It's I mean, not she's just got like, two. It's not a half mean, like, hug. Like, you know, it's two? not a it's, it's not a bra. Oh, bra. <laughs> like full body <laughs> jump on him. It is absolute full body jump, arms around the neck, and like the anime style of leaping into someone's uh, chest wow. <laughs> and yes shit. a glomp a very glomp <laughs> hug and squeeze whole full body and after a few seconds just kind of falls down he's holding on to her as she like faints <laughs> he, oh oh by the way at this point uh Seza has landed on uh boston's head <laughs> poop poop 
poop. The bird. <laughs> the bird. Uh, I know you... what birds are like. Let's go. <laughs> Roll D twelve. Do I don't know. Literally, no. anyone else is gonna gently put her on the ground and check for a pulse and any injuries she might have. Oh, she's fine. She's just okay. passed out from exhaustion. She's overloaded by stress. She just kind of wanted to thank you, and then as soon as the adrenaline kind of dropped, she also dropped. She might Poor be a baby. little iron deficient. <laughs> Very she's... anemic. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> she's um, she's gonna be okay. He's gonna say to the bird as he, he gently like he doesn't pick it up, but he like puts his hand so he can like if it doesn't, it pops up on your hand. Okay. Okay. And like kind of climbs up your shoulder. Sure. Hi. I I guess. Anyway. <laughs> Crow noises. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um. <laughs> Crow, Raven, whatever noises. They uh, are very similar, unfortunately. They just have very slightly different bodies. Hey, uh, Rick. Yes? How's how's she looking? Oh, it'll be fine. Um, I'll have it ready. Uh, I'll have it repaired by tomorrow. Sure. Uh, you think you can get us over to my, uh, my, uh, workplace? Oh, certainly. It came in through the back. The drivetrain's all fine. It's at the front. You know, I'm, yeah, but your muffler's kind of... <laughs> he's going to kick with the muffler over to where Baldrick is. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, now he's the present. <laughs> we, we could probably get a chop... We could probably get this place a bit more chopped up to make it a little more, uh, I guess, invader-ready, or maybe we just get a different car. I like this one. Fair enough. You seem to like to crash into stuff a lot, though. We might need to get it a little bit more body armor, yes. Um, also, uh, Tilly, right? Are Tilly. you in the, you're on the other side of the, the hall. He's, he's walking Room. over with her and he, he's going to shout over to her. Oh, you you picked, it. you picked up Amelia? Yeah. <laughs> okay. And, okay. So carrying her, yeah, over. It's so oh, cute, yeah, I'm going to die. <laughs> <laughs> In a very uh, Lost Raider arc kind of style. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Nash. Yeah. Can you hold up these 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 gauntlets are really meant for carrying people? As he's wearing his so full so full full suit of body armor. He's got uh, his full suit on. Yeah, Nash will <laughs> sling her over his shoulder so he can still use both hands. <laughs> Sure. Okay, so she's gone Emerald from being cobbled, scratch. carried, uh, to just being flung over her shoulder. Yeah, she's fine. She's fainted she's, anyway. she's unconscious right now. It's not like comfort, went, it's a high priority. Went from very sweet and romantic to the body bag. I wasn't even trying to be romantic. She was just like, this is a person I barely know when I'm holding her. Like, is this allowed? Oh, no, I don't it was, know this it was sweet and romantic. <laughs> no, no, it's sweet and romantic. Uh, she sweet. literally just glomped you and you're just, yeah. <laughs> Uh, speaking of which, Emerald redeemed a stretch. Yes. Uh, yay. <sighs> awesome. Uh, I'm a, I'll, I'll take it right back. Uh, now Baldrick might need help pushing the car back onto the road. I'm going to talk to Tilly real quick. Okay. Uh, do you want, you want her back now or? Just give me like two minutes. Okay. Oh, uh, we could. Okay. <laughs> Walking over to Tilly, um, uh -huh. he's gonna just kind of lean up against the um the uh, the table, not really like talk to her first. This, you uh, nice place you got, by the way. Huh? Uh, oh yeah, no, it's working. It's it works. Uh, what church? Whose church was it before you uh collected it? Uh, I don't know. It's um, some old one. I don't think anybody uses it anymore. Well, considering you bought it, I doubt that. Looking around, is there any sort of like religious symbolology or Whoa, anything? Oh, like you want to do an investigation? I I can. I'm not very do good at it. Do an investigation. But... Hail to the yeah. <laughs> All right. As I get my list of 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 deities out. <laughs> Twelve. <laughs> um, not very good. Twelve. Yeah. <laughs> nice. 
All right. Thanks. I feel so good about myself. <laughs> um, so any identifying marks really have been removed, i.e. banners, um, cloths, a lot of the stained glass or the um, mosaic glass has kind of been smashed um, either because vandals or just natural uh, causes. It's hard to say. Um, you're you're thinking it was something that has a decent, like a good alignment. Um, nothing chaotic, nothing um, neutral. But um, yeah, with a 12. Especially with the damage that's going on around the area, it's it's, uh, it's you can't. Do you normally have issues like this with any attack? What? Just curiously, I would go in a wall. And why was Amelia here? Oh, she came by to get her stuff, and not usually. Like, I mean, kind of like it's in the business of making stuff. You sure. stuff is gonna break, and stuff is gonna not work the way you want it to. Um, I was trying to make a semi sentient. Thing that was oh, gonna yeah. know when I was here and when I wasn't here by the sure. sound of my voice, but it just kind of just didn't get it. So, mind you, I don't know like jack about tech, but couldn't you like get one of those like uh like pet bots that they have for people for like companionship and just like use that same like take out its like chip and like copy the code for a similar thing for you? You mean like those like clap on clap off things? No. No, no, I'm talking like the uh what whatever model mittens is that he has. <laughs> oh, those things are like more observant than they are interactive. But um, it does need listen something... to his voice, so we can like call it and it will come to him. Yeah, but it's not gonna do anything else. It literally acts mim mimics a cat or animal. Um, but sh you know, I no, I need a guard. I need somebody to protect this place because I'm I'm gonna be working on stuff, and I've already had a few, you know, machines and contraptions, kind of like the idea stolen from me. I just I know people get in here and they look at my shit and they're like, if they're not smart enough, they'll take what they think is expensive. If they are. They take the, the really important shit that I'm working on, and it's just kind of annoying, you know? And I don't have yeah. the money to hire a person. Otherwise, I'd probably be better. Yeah. How much will you feel the door, by the way, is going to look to the door that's completely destroyed? <laughs> How much what? How much do I owe you for the door? The door? And she looks... Oh my god! <laughs> We were kind what of did you rush. do to my door? And she like dropped. What did you her. do to our robot? <laughs> she. <laughs> yeah. Well, to be that fair, he's gonna point like to Baldrick, who is hanging up by an arm and is trying to repair things. Your, your bunch of dust kind of damaged. I mentioned dice. So like. <laughs> you could have opened it. It was open. I got a distress call from Amelia. Things crashing. She's screaming. I came over here as quick as I could. Ah, uh, Amelia, she always overreacts. She was about to but get crushed. I didn't know she was there. She was barely moving. Like, it was paying more attention to my actual, and she'll just describe, you know, a few robots that are very similar to Min's. Again, how much do I owe you for the door? You know what? Don't worry about it. You shot the robot. N no, if this is your sanctuary, you're gonna need some security. Uh, here. I mean, I, get, I I got third place. I'll get it fixed. Don't worry about it. I I insist. Trust me. Either I'm going to do it or the automaton's going to want to pay for it. And he'll probably quintuple whatever I'm trying to pay you. Uh, <sighs> let, let me let me pull up my receipt and she'll go into her a different computer, her SIM chip. Start pulling up like receipts of, of things that she had mm -hmm. to get it installed and paid for. Um, it takes a minute because it's been a while since it was f completed and she had to pay for it. Mm -hmm. Um, of which I will like come up with a number. He he was just gonna give her like nine megabytes for the door and all the other damages because they did destroy the th all the things part of this robot. Yeah, it needed to be stopped, but we we damaged a lot of things breaking into this place. <laughs> 
Um, Hopefully this will cover it. And yeah, just nine megabytes. So how many? Nine megs? Okay. Nine yeah, megs. that'll be fine. Um, for door, absolutely. The uh, I think and we're in Ithros. Yeah, nine meg, nine megs. And, and, and just to cover any of the expenses, consider me did chop up your your bot a bit. She'll yeah, she'll accept that. Yeah, that's fine. All right, that'll help. I should be able to get a, a new door. Uh, hell, I might even add a, a back door and a couple windows. That'll be cool. All right, yeah, no, that's awesome. Thank you. Yeah. Uh... I guess if he's gonna look to Nash, you see who is does Nash still bouncing on his tail or is Nash now just <laughs> Um by now I think the rage would have gone away. Yeah. If so... you have any bots that might be having hey why you wanna get tested against someone and he's gonna point to Nash uh and hey hand her a card. This is my business card. Uh he likes fighting things. Like, so if you wanna test your metal against some muscle, he's probably a guy. Um, at this okay. moment, I feel like Nash and Ramita are getting into shit. Um, like, uh, Nash is probably throwing Ramita up in the air so that she can, like, flying drop an elbow with her spiked armor on the dead robot or something. I feel like they're doing <laughs> something like that. Um, <laughs> just, yeah, guys, it's... It, it, uh, she, that's still her property. Oh, I'm... I am... Oh, no, no, Sorry. that's cool. That's, you know, that's, that's cool. Um, I could use that. How can I get? Yeah, those, no, those I, two that's... is going to point to, to Granny and Greeny over there. <laughs> Granny and Greeny? <laughs> Hello, oh, Greeny. Uh, you can have a sitcom, Granny and Greeny. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Granny and Greeny. Cool. All right. Yeah, absolutely. Cause that um, do they do stealth too? Cause it would be cool that they laughs to... in the background. <laughs> do what? That's that fan laughs in the background. We oh, okay. struggle in that regard, but um, we do security, um, man hunting. Uh, we ha can do stealth. If they can but... sneak in and 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 get through, uh, then attack it. Like, that would be a great exercise, because that's... We all leave in town in a couple of days, but once you get things repaired, just give me a ring. Yes, yeah, I'm going to have to come up with some other... Um, uh, yeah, no, it's fine. Absolutely, absolutely. I can I can deal with this. I can do with this. I can do this. Sure. All right. Uh, he's going to pat her on the shoulder. Have a good one. And just kind of like, like lean up and just walk like, oh. away. And she, no, before you walk away, uh, she's like, oh, wait, here, here, and gives you a glass um, of water, a short little glass of water. Oh, thanks. And he'll he'll drink it and, like, put it back down. No, no, that was for her. She points oh. down at Amelia. <laughs> you didn't tell him. It was like... actually bubble solution. <laughs> no. <laughs> or so it was, it was. That is the first official facepalm of the night, folks. I am... <laughs> Not mad. Uh, she's not mad, but I am disappointed. <laughs> Very disappointed. <laughs> Take a drink, you suck it, fuckers. <laughs> um, it, 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 he'll begin a drink. She's like, no, it's for him. She's like, oh, and he won't drink it. Oh, no, no. He totally drinks it because that's exactly RP how it happens. Thanks. Uh, oh. I... <laughs> Uh, don't, don't, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Just like, you know, kick her in the back of her knee a little bit. She's well, sensitive there. We. Uh, why do you. Never mind. <laughs> well, no, seriously. She's ticklish. Do you, she, actually, she's down where, is in, the, huh? where is her gear, by the way? A tech? No, like, no, said, before, before she's like. She reaches down and grabs the, the back of Emily's knee and starts tickling. Uh. What's she has a hover chair. She can fly over and just tickle. Oh, okay. She doesn't need okay, to. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She just. Fly. But he also brought her over, and Nash was like, "Oh wait, Na he, she's on." No, 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 no. Nash time out. Time out. How is how is Nash holding on to Amelia with her flung over his shoulder, but also doing these things to the machine? Uh, with to be with fair, tossing, I mean, fairly true. I forgot about Ramita that. One arm, tiny. One arming it. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. One arm up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just, just, sure. checking. Just, just, like just checking. Just checking. 
gotta keep the consistency. All right, yeah, cool. Flailing, and but... Romina's got to do the rest. <laughs> yeah, Granny is also say, like working with him. Um, for uh, so f- two things: for stability and for cuteness. I do believe that um, she has slipped down into like a, a baby cradle, so he's got just right in here um, for uh-huh. one arm, and is throwing with the other. Okay, um, <laughs> sure. So we got we got Amelia kind of like this, uh, curled up her uh, in a baby toddler shape in uh, Nash's arm, and he's grabbing the halfling uh, by the back of her jack leather jacket, tossing her up in the air, and then letting the halfling barbarian do the rest. Oh, yeah. um, so by the, the way, other halfling, move. <laughs> the other halfling Tilly, yeah, well, gee, obviously. <laughs> Uh, hovers over and the hover chair not only goes uh, horizontally but then lifts vertically just high enough that she's able to touch the back of the knee of uh, Amelia uh, where she jolts awake and goes oh my gosh he bumps in a wave howdy ma'am <laughs> uh, hey. Nash I think you can probably put a down out gently can, can you walk Amelia oh Miss Livingston I'm well, so I'm fine. Yeah, put uh, put me down, please. Um, Not like you guys went on a date or anything, Boston. Uh, do you, yeah. Um, We're literally planning another date today. N- until Nash, you know, killer robots happened. Nash is just gonna, I don't know, deposit her. It, it's not the most <laughs> gentle, but um, it's uh. She slides down it's, it's, and and yeah. kind of collects herself on the ground and um. Uh, uh, this is an anime. We're just every move that we've done so far. My brain comes up with an anime equivalent. She I just take like me and offer a hand. You still up for coffee? <laughs> um, um, I yeah. You said you were gonna take me to your place and show me the um office I was gonna use. So I came by to yeah. get my stuff and um. You're taking her to your place, Boston. My office. Y- y'all been there. All of you. <laughs> Are you, you. And also, you remember, and he's going to gesture to everyone. <laughs> she's turning blue. She's turning kind of a, a pinkish rose. <laughs> um, On the first kind of... Boston, that's creepy. Which, by the way, Fen is over helping Baldrick with the car as much as they can, but they're listening in through Ceza. Mm-hmm. Sure. Um... Uh, yeah, and Amelia, uh, or Tilly... Time chimes in. Oh yeah, she said you guys had to hook her up with a place. It was pretty cool. I mean, she didn't have to. She still has access to this place, but she kind of wants her own. We all want our own place. We all want to work on our own stuff. So like, we could just, uh, um, yeah, I was gonna help her bring her, her, you know, stuff over. In fact, I was gonna have this log head, and she tips it with the tip of her uh, hover chair, uh, carry most of it with us. But then he started, you know, misfunctioning, and then you guys showed up, but which is super cool. But, you know, like, she's got a lot of stuff. And so we were just going to have it all one trip, you know, just kind of taking it over there. We, we we got we got some space. Maybe not in the trunk, <laughs> looking over to the car. <laughs> uh, but we, we got space. For, how much how much does she have? Um, um, you'll see in she'll tell you we'll look over and point at a section in the, near the front. Um, it's a good size amount of stuff. Imagine like a uh, tra- uh, touring band type of uh, stuff. You know, oh. speakers, guitars, drum mm-hmm. kit, equivalent size and um, amount of stuff. Is there's some of them are boxes, some of them are exposed. Uh, there's a table that's been folded up. Um, Boston, can I talk to you real quick for a minute? Sure. Um, Nash is gonna pull Boston aside. So cigarette um, out. I just want to check in with you. This is all going really fast. Uh, you're moving in together. No, no, no. What? She. This is. I, that's no. a really bad decision after a, just no, a first wait, date. What? I just want to check on hold, you. Hold, hold, hold on. <laughs> she needs a workspace. I said that because I'm not at the office, I'm not going to be in the office for the next couple of weeks. She can work there temporarily until either she gets this place on her feet or something like that. She's just my office. She's not moving into my apartment or anything like that. It's just a place to hold her stuff. I mean, she blushed quite a bit and they're bringing stuff. And you said my place instead of my office. Look, I, 
you may want to clarify with with this nice young lady that uh, that you ain't you hauling. Sure, I, I I guess. He shrugs and like, huh? I guess that kind of makes sense. Uh, uh, saying it. Uh, you. Uh, so actually, you've had some things similar to this. Any tips? I guess. Uh, I mean. I mean, definitely. Yeah, was, but it wasn't like, like this, like this. But what? What do you mean by tips? He's gonna lean in close. I found like maybe like three like tech like what people consider dates. Nash, like last night, I would not have counted as a date. We were just two people hanging out. I. <laughs> You, he, this is the first time you've ever seen probably like blush or seem like loss of words because if one Boston is one thing he's either very chatty or angry and he's just like she's a good woman and I just don't want her to either mislead or get her in trouble we do live in a kind of dangerous line of work uh, I mean you gave her your card right yeah well, that's a good start. You may want to tell her Cowboy Inn's dangerous. I would say yeah. probably don't take her to the orphanage. No. <laughs> that wasn't a, a pilot plan at all. Um, just some uh, pro tips here. Uh, I mean, look, Boston. I... The whole process is um, uh, unique and sure. weird and terrifying and exciting. Sure, Sounds sure, sure. Right. Yes, yeah, it's, it's just like a job. It shouldn't no. feel like a job. Oh. <laughs> I meant like what? the adrenaline the, the rush and the shaking that I'm kind of feeling. I want to say Granny's listening in on this and then just like walks up and smacks him in the back of the knee. But did we pull this away? You tailing us? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Y'all are within 35 feet of each other. Like, <laughs> Also, I can hear literally all of this going on, on through Seza. Not that you know that, but... Look, <laughs> Granny and I know how to get quality women. Sure, but all right. I I'm not really... I'm not... That's not what I'm... Um, <laughs> then be so, straight up with her. Yeah, what was you, you got real vague on the give me advice portion of this, and then I tried to clarify, and you stayed vague. So, if we're in the wrong I, direction, that's on you, bud. I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> then you should probably say, um, nearly exactly that, but maybe nicer, okay. maybe don't sure. Um, Put on the Boston Chami, I, mean, I got you. <laughs> uh, dial it back to maybe a three. That is part of how we got here in the first place. Um, you, you saw me. I just handed her my card and she thought it was a date. I don't. You, you handed I, the card. I'm pretty <laughs> sure there was a wink in there. There was. Nope. Um, you did put on the smolder for a minute. That was for sure. I don't. I love I, it. I have a smolder. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, it's it's the it's the tilt, the eye down, and the. <laughs> is is that your version of yeah you're fine sure <laughs> uh, okay yeah you know what you're right i sure yeah we can do that <laughs> that's that's a smolder uh, huh. <laughs> look you'd be surprised what a little bit of confidence will do Explains why I probably get so well in the orphanage, anyway. Because you're a whore. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, you'll finish the cigarette or put it out, one or the other. Um, and he'll walk back over. Also, Boston. Yeah. Real quick, if you do want this to be a thing, you should probably not be kissing waitresses or like <laughs> other ladies or men or people or automatons <laughs> or creatures. Can you be honest? That was maybe the 
That was the first time, maybe second time I've ever, I ever kissed her. <laughs> uh, look, I'm just yeah. saying, if you want this to be a thing, you should probably not be doing that. That's all I'm saying. Just yeah, sure. I I, I understand that much. I've watched movies. <laughs> uh, look. I, I don't know what, what level you weren't sure that there was something going on, and there's obviously something going on. So like, I don't. <laughs> I assume you're at a zero here. I'm closer to, yeah, sure. <laughs> Boston, those movies have X's on them anywhere in the title. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> he pauses. No, no, no. Um, and he'll. He'll explain that there was one, the one date that he remembers he did go see a movie by, um, Sparks Nicholas. <laughs> something about a data pad or something like that. It was weird. Oh, yeah, that was a, a good data one. journal or something like that. It was, eh. <laughs> wasn't his favorite, but it wasn't awful. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and Bloodlust is out. <laughs> That this is the line it takes to break blood. I didn't realize I just bring up Nicholas Sparks. Now I know. Um. Uh, Remy. Uh, so as this is going on, if anybody looks over, um, Tilly is actually tending to Amelia, and has pulled out a syringe, uh, type of <sighs> pen. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, that game was so hard. An EpiPen? Uh, basically an EpiPen and has put it in um, Amelia and she looks a lot... The, the color is coming back to... the What little color she had before is coming back to Nanobots. her face. Yes. <laughs> Equivalent of a health potion in this world. And it, not necessarily health potion, but like a stamina kind of thing. Um, Adrenaline shot. Sure. Uh, anything else? Okay. Sure, but let's go. Thank, thank you for this pep talk. This. Sorry, yeah. I never really had that conversation with. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's it, it's called the DTR. Um. DTR. Yeah, define the relationship. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Sounds like a sandwich. Yeah. Normally, no, <laughs> it's not a BLT. Um. There it is. <laughs> uh, no, I mean. They happen a lot on like uh, porch swings and park swings and uh, kitty swings and. Um, you like swings, benches don't you? And, um, the, I look. I don't know why, but that's a definite fact. Uh, where like where did you have they yours? That uh, we, we had a nice apartment. There was a porch swing out back. That doesn't look like a nice apartment. Another life. Uh, all right. You know, for a second, yeah. I was gonna tell you. I thought you were gonna tell me I couldn't smoke when I if I was gonna be around her. <laughs> He's gonna. I mean, she does look a little bit. Um, I don't know. You may not want to smoke too much around her. Sure. Don't rub your stupid off on her. That's... What the? How would you get here? <laughs> Looking down at Ramita. <laughs> About to throw a punch, like, what the? What, why are you here? <laughs> because you're being a freaking idiot. But, but, I, I'm sorry, I didn't have four centuries with my love, my, the love of my life. You don't need. Yeah, four but you centuries. know how I got her. I, I, I got her by not being stupid. Well, in the way that you're being stupid. She likes cheesy so pickup lines. Uh, but communication, communication, communication. Sure, Three yeah, pillars of communication. The yeah, yeah, like any relationship. It's all about chatting. Now you're bad oh. at that, so uh, you need to Very. do that. Very. <laughs> <sighs> He'll rub his eyes, but probably stab his eyes too hard because he's still not used to this full suit. I'm go <laughs> pull his eyes yep. back and they're watering a bit. He's like, okay, wait. Ah, it's fine. Uh, and, um, Roll for damage. Nash is... Uh, 1d4. <laughs> sure, I guess. 
three. Great. Um, <laughs> ow. There's a little bit of uh, redness that just kind of <sighs> goes over to the eyes, and it's just you look like you got you know either you're crying a lot or stung by a bee. Yeah. Um, my dog ears. sat on a Thank bee. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so I uh, seeing seeing this sort of reaction. Nash is Ow. going to lean in one more time, hands on both shoulders, um, and sort of. Oh, uh, mother. Okay, okay, maybe not hands on both shoulders if he's doing this thing. Um, but uh, lean in, and uh, there's going to be uh, as as he talks, um, he's going to be to whisper um, some words of encouragement and also a quick Lathander prayer. Um. And the air between them is going to start to glow. Um, and uh, let's see, I can do three willing creatures. So uh, Ramita is in, uh, I'll be in, and uh, Boston is in. Uh, we now have an emboldening bond. Oh, nice. So oh. for uh, for oh. ten minutes, um, you can uh, you can once per turn reroll a d4 and add it to. An attack roll, which you probably shouldn't be doing here, but uh, ability <laughs> check or a saving throw. Sure. Uh, I believe in you. Thanks. Lathander believes in you. Gonna just pat his knee, just. <laughs> At this point, uh, Mila comes walking up with her um, with a little little bag that uh, has a few items in it and says, uh, Tilly arranged to have um, some movers come and move my stuff for me, so um, that uh, can happen later. Sure. Uh, Amelia, can I have a word with you just right over here and he's gonna gently like push Ramita away from him like you would like a, try to like get a kitten away from you just like nope just <laughs> <gently> push <laughs> her away like okay um did we did you want to go on um get breakfast yeah let's, let's kind of walk and just chat okay side note the bond works when you're 30 feet away so Nash is just slyly trying to keep within distance <laughs> just, just FYI he's just sneakily like in the background do, 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 do. Nash is now the the, the chaperone okay <laughs> to the <this> state <laughs> Granny's in on this just behind Nash uh, wait, mm. uh, oh that's a problem bro leaving a Tweedledee and Tweedle broken behind in a broken car in the middle like police are gonna start showing up what are, Baldrick shouldn't drive he's missing an arm and half his face I will bail out at some point but we want to make sure you don't tank this early okay I don't need two arms to drive hold on no 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 let me get this straight you don't want you want us just you don't want to see if I'm taking it early or you want to watch it and record it so that way y'all can laugh at him 10 years on the line Nash wants you to do well and if you do terrible, he wants to witness it. He's gonna record it, and it's gonna be like a playback, like a sports playback. Be like, see, this is where you fucked up, and yep, this is what. <laughs> it's a learning moment. Sure, We're taking sure. notes. We're taking notes for. This is practice. where you should have went to the left, but you veered to the right, and you just totally over <laughs> so... overshot that. Um, you'll, we'll just look for any street vendor, street food right now. Um, in this area, yeah, there are going to be street vendors. Um, they're, they're setting up if they're not already together with their stuff. Uh, by the way, to help in the sneaking behind, Nash is going to pull out, uh, a little bit of a forgery kit and draw a mustache on both himself and Ramita. A forgery kit, not a disguise kit, just a forgery oh, no, kit. Sorry, there's a disguise kit. Sorry. I also have a disguise kit. Oh, sorry, he's a mustache. A forgery kit is so apt. <laughs> Granny's going to change her voice to someone. Mm -hmm. To Father mm -hmm. Tobias or whatever? To the. GIF. Uh, so. I, I, I had a question. Mm -hmm. A couple, but I think we start here. Was me hanging out with you after after the event a date? Did you want it to be? 
I didn't know if it would count as one, but my he's gonna point behind <laughs> to the two people that have been gonna, stalking like... him. <laughs> Those two. <laughs> I don't know. What you're... <laughs> uh, just people who have had been in relationships tell me that that would have classified as a date of sorts. Oh, um, no. I mean, it's. It's fine if you. <laughs> I'm not saying I don't, don't want, want it to be a date. I mean, you're a very sweet woman. However, my line of work is very, very dangerous for sweet people. The last um, thing I'd want is for you to get caught in the crossfire or someone trying to come after me go after you. I like hanging out with you. You're fun. You're witty. You're smart. You're way smarter than me. <laughs> Thanks. Your choice in um, friends is looking back to his. Are they still within a hundred foot, uh, hundred feet of the cathedral? Oh yeah, the yeah. They have. Torch. They haven't. They oh, haven't so exited still the building. Yeah. <laughs> Your choice in friends. Uh, he's gonna look back to the two and the burn his shoulder. He's gonna just flick it to get it off his shoulder. Uh, he's gonna go to the other shoulder. <laughs> just, just, uh, just simple casual animal abuse. <laughs> Not a red flag on our first date. As as it lands on the other sh- uh, the other shoulder, which I'm gonna say is probably closer to uh, Amelia, uh, she'll like kind of brush it on the uh, it's, on its breast. I've been like told it, it. I've been told it's a familia. <laughs> I I don't know what that means, but oh, um, it hasn't defecated on me yet, so I'm kind of okay with that. <laughs> the, the, they they have a use. <laughs> it's um, <laughs> it's not my expertise. I don't. Um, I've, I've heard it in passing. Which, by the way, more than likely, since I'm listening in and all that stuff, uh... Walt has been talking to you this entire are... time and has no idea, you have no idea what he's saying. Huh? <laughs> exactly. What? Baldrick's been talking. Like, this entire time and you're just not listening because you'd rather listen in on your friend struggle <laughs> than actually have a conversation with your personal assistant. <laughs> I'm being I'm 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 being nosy, yes, and I'm being subtly <laughs> nosy because you don't know I can do this with my bird. Anyway, no the bird's yeah. eyes are probably glowing at this point because I am <laughs> <laughs> using yeah, his senses. Just you just petting it like it's a bird. Just she's just rubbing his breast. Um He floofs. I I don't know much about you um i thought we would just get to know each other um i don't i i've never been on a date so i don't know what is a date um i was gonna count this as one because we would just walk talk eat something maybe sit down on a bench or something like apparently benches are very important in dates i don't i don't know Okay. Well, um, we can also do whatever. Like, if you're not comfortable with the benches, we can. I don't know. We can go to a cafe or whatever. I'm just. I'm down for whatever either. Um. But. My parents don't know I'm with you. Um. Do they have to know for that to be. That is. <laughs> He's gonna think for a second. I'm gonna. Do you mind if I roll an intelligence check to see what he would think Go about for this? it? <laughs> oh, oh no! Wow! Ah, the dice is run away. <laughs> <laughs> away. Okay. Okay. Um. Well, I okay. think that depends on how serious you think this is gonna be or what it should be. I rolled a total of a fifteen. <laughs> um. Was... So, I mean, you obviously aren't. The parents don't. You don't see eye to eye with your parents on a lot of things. This is true. They don't like my tinkering, and that's why I had to borrow a uh, part of Amelia's or Tilly's 
space. Um, which she's my neighbor. We um, don't live too far from each other, and she kind of um, introduced herself one day, and uh, we became friends pretty quickly. I see. But, now um, I, I want to let you know that you're going to be working. Like I think I said this last night, but we are gonna. You are gonna be working in my office. Um, yeah. You said that. Yeah, it's it's not that big of a space, but I, like you don't. I don't know what like. So we'll try to fit as much as we can here. You might have to have a lot of things in storage. You kind of bring things out when you need it. Um. Uh, and what we might do um, is say that I'm renting it out to you when I'm not here in case someone tries to come and ask for me. You could say, I don't know where he went. I'm just someone he rents the space out to when he's not in town. Okay. I got I got some people that might be looking for me soon and they might trek there first. Okay. Um, am I going to need security as well? It wouldn't be an awful idea, but at the same time, if you're just renting out my space, you would only know so little. My just concern is, is that if I'm talking to you regularly, they might try to ask, like, when you know I might be back or anything like that. So maybe have some stuff here and some stuff at Tilly's church, I guess. That makes it sound like a cult leader. <laughs> okay. I can do that. Um... Keep her on the doll, though, if she has any more of those automatons. They might help. Maybe they won't, but it doesn't hurt to try. Okay. Um. She'll nod um, and He'll say, order her a coffee and get them both a uh, bagel or donut. What you want? Um. Bagel. Bagel. <laughs> And yeah, the vendor you have is uh, basically, we'll say it's a um, yeah, it's a breakfast uh, one. It's got breakfast burritos and bagel sandwiches, and then of course, mm -hmm. you know, donuts and uh, a few standard coffees. Nash, you're just gonna hear Granny's stomach start growling. About the time they get their food, yeah, um, Nash is gonna look at Granny and be like, uh, "You want to get snacks and then go help uh, the robot? I think he's okay here." Yeah, he's doing good. Yeah. Let's get food though. That burrito looks so good. Hey, oh my god, they have extra salsa. Too. You you will <laughs> notice that Boston paid for two extra things and he put the bag down on the ground where you guys were walking so that because he knew <laughs> you guys were gonna come up. He knows you two uh, monsters. He he bought two extra burritos for the both of you, so four and just put it down. Put <laughs> it put it on on like a bench nearby and yeah. just kinda walks off. Alright. Okay. So Amelia and Boston walk off and do their their breakfast to uh, his office lunch. so we can show her the space. That's okay. Perfect. Okay. Uh, Nash and Granny are going to do their um, new uh, formulated fist bump. Um, <laughs> I don't know what it is <laughs> yet, but it's something. Wiggity, wiggity, wiggity. Oh, remember that TikTok I sent you guys with the big brother and the little kid in the bowling alley? They did the fist. And then he grabs his little brother's hand and then just kind of like clomps him onto his back as a backpack. Do you remember that? It was decades ago. Yeah. No, but that's decades. Okay. <laughs> Piers, I know you think hanging out with us is a drag of time and space, but we have not known each other for less, more than a year now. It's a joke. Not a decade. It's like been 84 years. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, um, Ten thousand years. It's 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 literally in your DM, either in TikTok DM or some other DM. But so yeah, maybe review that. But yes, y'all like do a, a little hand fist bump and then Ramita's on your back, like you know, good old fashioned form, eating a uh, burrito. Don't get salsa on my hair. Uh, actually, don't get salsa on my hat. I would never ruin a hat that nice. <laughs> right. <laughs> Gives us a little uh, oh. <laughs> je ne sais quoi. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's a some extra spice, but I really think you need to like you need to think about adding fishnets. I I have the mesh shirt. 
It's like fishnets, but for your upper body. You need fishnets too. You got to make the whole thing. It'll just bring it I, together. It's all. It's no. I don't really. They're really constricting Extra. and they tear. They don't really make a big enough for point, my thighs. <laughs> Extra pockets, so you can like slide a gun into it. Fishnets have you know. pockets. I mean, <laughs> they can hold more things. <laughs> I think it likes the equivalent of it comes in pints. <laughs> it has pockets. <laughs> uh, and I feel uh, like this is their conversation as they head back to work on uh, work on the car and help Baldrick. And Rana. As Omira, uh, as Boston Omira texting, he will text Boston, or he'll text Baldrick saying, "We're heading back uh, to to the office. Meet us there." Um, she said that uh, movers are coming in, so just whenever you're ready, bring some of the things. Okay, understood. And Rana, Rana will pull back, but uh, uh, pull back into themselves, and uh, says it's going to stick with Boston. Apparently. You receive a message Fun. from a Charlotte Bo- de Moa. De Beaumont. Oh shit, I gotta take this one! <laughs> <laughs> and says, 2.30 uh, p.m. Be sharp. What time is it now? Probably it's like stupid early, right? Nine, yeah, it's stupid early. Nine thirty. Okay, cool, 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 cool. The time cool, you cool, probably cool. were going to be there, but then, you know, emergency call and yeah. Two thirty p.m. Be shot. That's all it says. Well, it also cool. has an attachment of a GPS location. Awesome. We have an appointment. <laughs> Apparently. Uh. With the GPS coordinates, how long does it look like it's going to be taking us to get over there? That way I have an idea of when we should leave Boston's place. It is roughly on the other side of um, the city. So at least 45 minutes. Okay, so give it like an hour room. Yep. And there's also instructions. Oh, good. You will be... Always great. Yes, RSVP uh, with the number of attendees... Uh, you will meet with uh, a specific uh, doorman, and they will uh, ha- help you to uh, the inside. Uh, the into- they will help escort you inside, and you will take the second elevator to the fourteenth floor. Okay, I'm gonna need my power hose again. <laughs> Great. Okay, cool. Um, sweet, sweet. We need to get back to Boston's house as soon as we can get this cleared up. <laughs> Would you say we've gotten back yet? If you turned around after, after getting your food, absolutely. Oh, yeah. Gonna be like, why do I remember like tattoos being mentioned? Oh yeah, we did. They were. Uh, we were planning on getting some tattoos today. Um, uh, we probably need to move this car first, though, right? Shouldn't we drive something different around if we're going across town? This is kind of very sore thummy. I mean, you guys um, hired I'm a driver. Actually, going to just take it back and work on it. Um. So yeah, I could get you guys a, a, a driver and a vehicle around. Are you not coming with us? I really should focus on this. That way we can be ready to go if we need to. We can't leave them alone here. No, I'm going to take it back to, to Boston's house. How are you getting it up the stairs? <clears throat> His office has a parking area, which would probably be better than his apartment because he doesn't have a parking spot in his apartment. It's the street. Uh, I mean, either way. If you'll remember, I mean, the is... if you'll remember, uh, he Aldrich had left the vehicle back at Boston's office 
Yeah. And as soon as uh, Boston said, we gotta go, he was already out the door running to get the car and had arrived at Boston's apartment when you guys had all assembled on the on the street floor, street uh, level, and was driving off. Yeah. So Boston lives three blocks away from his office building. Like, it's not that far of a walk, so... Yeah. It, no one's gonna see you there, right? Uh, I should be within fine. the garage, probably a good idea for that. I don't remember much, but I remember a lot of hostility last night. Hostility? Like the air. Oh yeah, there were some people that wanted a piece of us. But they didn't actually want a piece of us. Wait, what? Yeah, I mean, we we went to the <laughs> cowboy place and, you know. Uh, Rick's Is really that wanted. You took a wanted man inside of a bar full of people who hunt down wanted men. Good. Brilliant. No, Good. We didn't. We followed Boston there. It's not like we took him. He came with. Willingly. I assume it was willing, right? Without knowing where it was we were going. Would you have gone if you had known? No! (laughs) (laughs) We are playing with multiple levels of fire all very rapidly within a very, very incendiary town. Yeah, we need to get him out of here. We do. Tomorrow we leave. Tomorrow we go to Aurora. However, today I need to meet with an auctioneer. Also a tattoo, because let's face it, we need it. Do we do that after or before that auctioneer? We should probably go meet up with Boston, who has gone to his apartment and figure it out there. Oh, that boy's got, he's on his own. He's doing so well. You should have seen him. I heard. But you're in here. Yes, but says it was there. Oh, right. I can project my mind into Cesar and listen, see anything that he does. Maybe you, you tell anything? Boston that. Why didn't I tell him? No, maybe don't. Oh. Yet. Well, that's just lying. No, it's not bringing it up. If he doesn't ever have means to question it. I don't know how I feel about that, because you're like, creeping. Like, what if we're on the toilet or something? I'm not gonna... No, ew, no. <laughs> no, this is more so to make sure that he didn't... Fuck it up royally. Yeah, but that's what we were doing. Well, then he had more layers. Yeah, he had the, the experts, should... and then he had a bird. You do realize that while I'm in, you, know, you probably don't. While I am inside of Cesar, I can still give him commands, meaning. Can he talk? Can he give advice? Ravens technically can. That's really awesome. I mean, but like real talk or like mimic talk? <laughs> Good question. I mean, as long as he knows the words, he can use them, and I can direct him on how to use them. But have you taught him the words? I mean, Can't you talk like through the week. five familiar spell? Can't you talk um, through the familiar? I think you can. I think yeah. I can, as long as they have the capability of speech. I didn't think it was even a requirement, because, like, I knew that, um... Maybe, eh. Remember, one sex spell? Magic is weird. Magic yeah. is weird. Why are you trying to keep it from Boston specifically? You just shared it with us. Yeah. So he doesn't get pissed off at me for spying. I mean, 
we were right there. You didn't get pissed off at us. I think you're fine. Yeah, he bought us burritos. You missed out on burritos. They're bomb. Oh, oh so good. Streets always know. Oh, yeah. Street vendors always have the best food. It doesn't matter what they're selling. It's just so good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. He even knew to order extra Gouda in this one for me. It was dope. Gouda and chorizo. Oh. He got you double everything in that burrito for... <laughs> Double meat, double cheese, <laughs> double egg. Just like fill it up until you have to basically put another burrito on another tortilla on top. Of oh yeah, no, that's absolutely, well, yeah, absolutely second tor- to, to, to it is a nice size tortilla. Burrito, absolutely. Yeah, fresh tortilla and everything. Oh, and yeah. Ramita oh, got a regular human sized one, which is <laughs> double anyway. <laughs> Well, with extra, uh, with extra hot sauce if she wants it or not. <laughs> oh, there was tons oh, yeah. of sauce on the side that they could have grabbed and just taken with them. Yeah, I'll, he also said, make get get whatever you give someone to get rid of a hangover is basically what, like, <laughs> on the side. Just like... <laughs> uh, there's a bag for br- the burrito, and then there's a bag for the other stuff. <laughs> so it doesn't say specifically, uh... I can speak through it. So... That I think, I think it's just sight and thing. sound and a. Uh... I have a telepathic link to it, so <laughs> yeah. I can, if it has the capability of speech, direct it into speak to speaking. Mm-hmm. But I can't like speak directly through it. Yeah. Um, Would the I think... eyes stop glowing after a certain point? Oh yeah. Uh, once... I think the eyes mm-hmm. stop glowing when they lose. As soon as, as I'm not. As soon as I'm not connected. Yeah. He would probably make a note of that and ask um, Amelia about that. She said she really doesn't know, but like. Is that is that normal? <laughs> He's gonna gently it. tap the bird on the head to make sure like there wasn't a button that he accidentally turned off or something like that. Um, I've seen it on robots, so maybe that's what it is. I I don't know. Um, I mean, Tilly's uh, machine did it. That's true. I, I'll have to ask Fen later about it. Um, and then let's pause here. <laughs> we'll all say goodnight. Basically, we wrapped up. We know what's happening next. Um, everybody's yeah, gonna reconvene at Boston's. Oh, uh, not was not where I was going with that. Um, but why not? <laughs> We're gonna interrupt. Fade to black. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's let's do our our you know out. Oh the God! What is tiny it? Tiny porn music from the '80s. No, no, no. Pardon? Um, <laughs> Sadly, I don't have any of that uh, on man, man, man. That's the Muppets. That's not the. the... He's actually from a 1970s yeah, I know. Italian I, adult film. I know. Anyways, the Muppets so... go to Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> what happens in Vegas? Someone's going through a weird time. So, <laughs> anyways, it was a weird time. Let's we'll start guys. with. Let's, let's... <laughs> All right, I am the GM. We are have a good night. No, uh, <laughs> what good night, everybody. First, let's you. see what's going through the mechanics voice of uh, thoughts of Rev or um, yeah, Baldrick. What Baldrick, what is he thinking? And let's hmm. let's end this night. Here's, do you want to take another shot at that or no? I said what I said. <laughs> I said what I said. <laughs> Rick is is fully focused on the task at hand. It was worth it in the moment, but now he's like, this is the rest of my day. Because <laughs> uh, oh, mending lets you do fix up to one cubic foot at a time. That's six seconds per action. Uh, there's approximately 123 cubic feet in a standard car. This is a little bit larger, but it's also not the entire vehicle, so I just went with that number. Uh, and that roughly comes out to about 12 and a half hours. To be fair, you're only doing the ha- of back uh, half of the just car. Just doing one spell. Yeah, it's fine. He'll probably pay somebody to come fix it and get it done faster. He could do that. Because he has all the money to do such a thing. He could do that. Is salty about how much money uh, she gave Baldrick? <laughs> it wasn't even intentional. It was just roll a random die and this is what you get. And that was he rolled super high. Anyways, <laughs> some of us got enough for four chicken nuggets. I have you get chicken loaded. Nuggets. Look at that. <laughs> I have loaded D and D Beyond dice. Anywho, I'm so jolly. Um, so, that's Rev. Rev. that person. 
Where else? But, but where else can we find you? Oh, I'm Sing Green Rev. You can find me in all the places you can find me. I don't know. Google it. Twitch. Okay. Yep, that one. Yep. Instagram. Yep, that one. Weeder. Yep, that Your one. House. Let's jump in over to Nash Tony. Oh, what, oh. That was the direction <laughs> he pointed up. Yeah. Uh, oh, hi. Number. I am Tony. Uh, you can find me online at Tony Will Edit. Um, that's uh, where I do uh, a lot of shenanigans. Um, that and here. Uh, you can also find me um, next week on Wednesday. And then next week on Thursday, Brett and I have uh, a Monster of the Month stream, Monster of the Week stream that we do. And that is dope as hell. Yeah, um, we had a lot of fun. Right? Um, anyway, Nash is currently living his best life right now. Um uh, and I do believe Greenie and Granny will become a sitcom um, for sure. It's, it, or at least a webcomic. We just we have to pitch it a few places. It's fine. Um, I mean, with how successful Under the Dragons movie is, I would not be surprised if we see a rise in random fantasy degenerated content and just like a slice of life formats. Sounds good to me. Yeah. Um, it's going to be perfect. We should, we should do that. And uh, it was good at drawing is... blood. Um, Nash is sorry. I just got distracted by chat. It's fine. Um, Nash, we're on dating apps for some reason. I don't know why. Um, I think it's about Rev. I, the places where you can find Rev. Uh, <laughs> yep, you can find me on some of those. Um, Definitely not wrong. Anyway, uh, yeah. So Nash is um is having a great time right now. Um, I think this morning was a, was a great warm up fight for him. Um, it was uh, it was a good way to get the blood flowing early in the morning, is what I mean. Um, uh, you know, it's a workout. Um, he loved it. So, uh, look, I don't need you to drop farmers.com while I'm talking here. Okay, that's really, <laughs> really. Do I look like a farmer to you? <laughs> Next year, you're going to be a farmer.com. Christian Mingle? I'm, I'm exiting the call. <laughs> <laughs> uh, How does it taste? <laughs> uh, anyway. And they're both gone. <laughs> uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send it over to Brett. Uh, oh, thanks. The master of mayhem over there. Hi, my name is just Brett or Brett or just call me Brett. I don't know. The T's now. change every time. The T's change every time. Sometimes it's two. Sometimes it's one. Sometimes it's three. I even wrote it today with four because I was tired and I misclicked. 37. <laughs> anyway. Um, I stream here every day on Twitch except for Sunday. Um... Tomorrow I'll be starting a little Nightmares adventure, uh, which will be lots of fun. Um, I'm also trying to put things onto YouTube, so look out for that. Um, I'm on Twitter, I'm on Instagram, I'm on TikTok. <sighs> but yeah, I was having you here at Boston. Guys, no idea what he's doing, and it's working. Uh, hot potato it over to blood. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Uh, I don't really have anything with Shen. They they haven't really done anything in the last two episodes. <laughs> <laughs> One time they were staying in a room avoiding everything. The next time they broke a robot, and I'm now somewhat fixing a car, but also spying on their friend. Uh -huh. they're not hot. We're fixating on the meeting they had this afternoon with someone who's apparently real wealthy. Uh, I think they're broken at this point for that. <laughs> uh, 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 right now, right now, yeah. Um, planning on going home, cleaning off their official, like, more dignified. Uh, clothes because they just wore them a little bit ago and are gonna have to put them back on and their power heels <laughs> they have power heels by the way because they are a short baby <laughs> they're lifts you should loan those to Ramita 
<laughs> nah, I need stilts. <laughs> stilts and a long skirt. Let's go. But yeah, um... Otherwise, just kind of, yeah. Fen is, Fen is here. Fen is doing Fen things. Um... I am Bloodless King. I am a VTuber here on Twitch. About the only time I stream anymore is on Saturdays. Because I don't make myself work on Wednesdays, if I can make it. Because I come here and do this. <laughs> mm. And uh, apparently this takes a lot out of me. <laughs> anymore. Especially God, when we go an hour no. over. I have nothing left in my tanks, man. <laughs> no joke. The cowboy hat uh, gives me strength. Your cowboy hat gives you strength. That's <laughs> because cool. you have a bunch of Nina's with adrenaline sticking straight into your limited. brain. That and these random I have the canisters power of, of bubbles. Purring. <laughs> I have a rock. Okay, Yay, you keep saying rock. that. I'm the only one with bubbles actually within reach. You don't know what we have in our desk. Chug it, chug it, chug it, chug it, chug it. Do we have anyone uh, else left to go? Uh, uh, to Rev, uh, no, uh, Darkness. Yes, me. Darkness. I need to go still. I am, um, <laughs> I am Darkness. Ramita is happy for the burrito. <laughs> um, very hungover, and just enjoying the time right now since it's not crazy chaos. Everyone's dying, and they don't know where children are. Um, happy for Boston. And I am Hello Darkness my own, and I'm figuring crap out. I will have more soon. We'll see you in Minecraft soon, right? Yeah! yeah. If it's together, it's our craft. <laughs> I believe Tony said he's joining as well. In Minecraft? Yeah, really? No, Tony did not say that. <laughs> I Lies and have... slander, how dare. Minecraft I actually have a vendetta. I actually so had a I conversation with, with Tony well, he, earlier. You might join him in, in, uh, in disc golf, though. Ultimate Ooh, Frisbee, but yeah. Awesome Ultimate said. Frisbee, sorry. I'm down. <laughs> there, time there's this game deal. that we found. It is so janky, but it is so fun. <laughs> uh, <laughs> really good hand-eye coordination. I just can't toss with crap. Okay. Oh, Emily? I am very, very physically weak. I'm sorry. <laughs> it, it's a video game. It is a video um, game online. <laughs> Oh, that's why man. that's why they Fuck. said us in the game yes so okay. anywho i believe <laughs> since that is our last last individual um yes this is breaking character on a and i podcast we appreciate you all for being here as long as you have and anybody who's watching the videos after they post on youtube thank you for hanging out this long with us um <laughs> This is Breaking Character. We will see you next week, Wednesday, 9.30, hopefully. Um, and until then, try not to break character. Bye-bye. But seriously, though, y'all need to try some bubbles. Um, if, 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 if you ain't got your bubbles, you can find at your local... Boba tea place, you can find some bubbles in the tea as well. Uh, and we've got definite things going on in the background here that don't matter. But all I'm saying is bubbles. It's the way to go. It'll clean your insides. It's all nice and great. All right. But the biggest thing you need to do is tune back in next week 9 30 p.m eastern that's 6 30 pacific i'm not gonna walk through all the time zones you know how to do some math sometimes i think if not you know google it or whatever but uh these guys are pretty cool and they'd love to see you back in the meantime don't break character friends